Oh. Ooh. Hey, y'all. Sorry, I am tardy. But I'm here. Y'all knew I was coming. As soon as y'all see me posting on my Instagram, y'all know I'm on my way. But I was like, let me make sure Jory is comfortable. She was, I put her to bed in the girl's room. Both of them wanted to be on the top bunk. And then she sees her sister on the top bunk. But no, I do let her get on the top bunk, but never without us being in the room. And only for like a short period of time, because we just don't want her to just get comfortable up there, you know? So when they both wanted to go up there, she's like, oh, I want to go up there. And I'm like, no, ma'am. So I had to bring her back over here. And then literally as soon as I picked up my computer to start, I hear her running up the room like a thief in the night, going back in there. And then she left her bottle. So she ran back in there and then she settled herself. So I think we're good. I think we're good. But you never know with Miss Jory. So we'll just see. She come running out here. I did try to plug up my ring light so I can get a little bit more light up in here. So, um... Yes, y'all. So, hey, it is Saturday night. I hope I did not take y'all away from y'all festivities. Uh, let me see. I'm going to go back to the top. But I know y'all probably just saying hey. So I'm just going to give a whole hey to everybody. <laughs> so I'm just going to go back down to the bottom because I know y'all pretty much saying hey. And um. <laughs> No, ma'am. <laughs> See, I knew that's what she was going to do when she saw that light. Now she's running back in there with her sisters. But um, yes, y'all. So we have a lot to catch up with in today's live. So I hope y'all are ready. Oh, yeah. So I definitely was live on my Instagram yesterday, y'all. That's the last time y'all seen me. Your girl was down bad, y'all. I had a shot and I just you know, I lost it. <laughs> so when well, I lost it, but I, alcohol just runs through my body just so easy. I don't know if it's just because I'm see. I mean, I've had times where I've had a shot and I was, I was good for a little bit, but it's like, I don't know if it was something in the tequila or the amount of the shot I had. I don't know y'all, but I was definitely live yesterday. <laughs> uh, I was definitely um, lit. So if y'all tune into that, Thank you so much. But we are here to talk about a few things that have transpired. And I have been really, really busy. Um, when I say really, I mean like I'm going off for three hours of sleep every single day. Like no exaggeration. So um, I have not been able to actually talk to you guys about everything um, that's really been going on. So I don't really like small talk. I don't really like small talk. How was the girls' night last night? Oh, it was really, it was, it was everything. Um, most of them did spend the night. A few of us left. Um, y'all know me. I just gotta always get back to my girls, no matter what. So I came back home. Um, I just came back home, even though they were gonna be sleep, but still, I don't know. Like I just have an addiction to them, like I've said before. Like, unless I'm out the country or out of state, and I can't be with them. Like, I would prefer, like, I would just go out of my way to still be with them at night. Because I just didn't grow up with my parents. I mean, I don't know what the hell they were doing when I was <laughs> their age. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, I just like to be, be here. Um, Yeah, George. The girls are watching their iPad. It was, like, on 30%. I don't typically, I don't ever, this is the first time I actually let them watch their iPad. And that's only because they've been addicted to this baby stuff, which I'm trying to wean them off of it. Cause I just feel like it's just a little too much for me. I'm seeing like if they can just wean themselves off of it and get into something else, but I don't like the whole pretending to feed the baby, taking a baby for a walk, like taking a bath. Like these kids on here are like, like they have like, I've, I've been putting stuff on my Instagram and it's just a bit too much. I'm like, I mean, it's okay. Cause it's, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I just be seeing them talking. They're changing a diaper. And I'm like, really, they're so invested. They're like, oh, the diaper is full. Got to change. Like talking back to like, I mean, I guess it's their imagination. I guess things evolve over years. But I'm just it to me is just like, I don't want y'all getting too comfortable with this whole taking care of a baby thing. Yeah. So and then next thing, you, you know, you know, so. Um, but anyways, with that being said, the YouTube thing is hard to connect in their room. So I was like, let me just let them have an iPad so I can get through the live. But yes, y'all. So what am I going to do? The Atlanta tour. 
Um, I'm going to try to get to that within the next few weeks. Where did you purchase the pink dress from that you wore on your live yesterday? Fashion Nova. Um, thank you. This red hair, even though this is supposed to be pink, but you know, I'm just going to take the compliment, but everybody, no one, not one person has said, I love your pink hair. Not one person. So I'm like, and every time I look at it, I'm still like, this is, it don't look pink. It looks so pink to me, but, um, yes. Yeah, so pretty much if you guys don't know if the light, y'all see the light is your doing it, <laughs> but pretty much if you guys don't know, um, <laughs> about two days ago, I think it was two days ago um or it could have been yesterday but either way it goes martin lewis that's the title of this live so martin lewis makes a video and i want i want things to start coming from the horse's mouth because no longer in this youtube career or whenever wherever i'm at like i'm going to say what i want i'm not gonna let anybody silence me if i feel like there's something i want to address i'm gonna do that so this is me doing that since this series is about me. I guess that's the least I could do, right? So anyways, if you guys watch, if you guys don't know who Martin Lewis is, let me first give him a little preface. So Martin Lewis is an actual reactor. You know, some of y'all don't know what a reactor is. Um, you just know what bullies and trolls look like. But Martin Lewis is an actual reactor on YouTube. You can go, uh-uh, baby. Huh? Yes, baby. Come on, let's go. Uh-uh, let's go. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, ma'am. You hear what I'm saying? No, ma'am. Okay? Too hot. Okay? Let me move it. Sorry, y'all. I This is when I have to get serious with the girl. <laughs> when it's dangerous stuff, that's when y'all will hear me with another tone. Oh. Woo! So if we in the street, I talk to, I got to, Talk to them because I don't ever want them like when they be walking Mama, out there. We pro Mama. yes, baby. You need to get down. <laughs> no. Mama. Now you want to turn off the light, but yeah. So mommy mode, like I, you got to make sure your kids know no and danger and all that other stuff. But um, sorry y'all, we had to go off on a little tangent. But so back to Martin Lewis. Martin Lewis is a reactor, and if you go to his channel, you pretty much see the type of content he is doing. Like reacting to um, other YouTube content creators. It's mostly YouTube people. Um, I've never really seen him do celebrities, if I'm not mistaken. But for the most part, when I watched him like all the time, it was more so like YouTube people. I used to see him react to like Queen Naja and Chris Sales and Clarence and I think Queen's mom and sister. And there's some other people on the platform. So I told y'all get this before that I don't really watch drama channels, T channels and stuff like that because I, as an influencer, I don't like when people report news on other people and then like how they report it is like, this is like, this is gold. Yes. You're going to get down, mama. Yeah. I see that light. You see that light too. I see that light. But yeah, so that, and then I have also been victim to people reporting about me. Like, it's like, this is what it is. Like, this is law. Like what we're saying is law. Joy, baby, get down, Angel. Let me move that out your way. Okay. Let me move that out your way. Come on. Let's go watch baby, okay? Okay. Let's watch baby. You want baby. Okay. Love you. Let me find my voice. Here you go. Night, night. Thank you, love. Sure. No, she likes to play when I'm on this live. That's why I can't wait. When we move into this um house, we ain't gonna have any type of problems. Um, because she's gonna be tucked away in her new room. She ain't gonna be sleeping with us. But um, okay, so yeah, that's that's the type of stuff he's doing. He's reacting to other um people, and I didn't even really watch all the people who he reacted to, like religiously enough to even make an opinion, and nor do I even care to make an opinion. But one thing I used to notice about Martin Lewis is for one. He never said he never takes his personal feelings towards a situation or the person in the situation. Like, for instance, let me give an example. From the past, I don't know what his sentiments are now, but I remember in the past videos, like it was a situation with um, Chris and Queen and I think like involving the baby or their child or something. And a lot of people were like, you know, Queen, I guess, was saying something about Chris and blah, blah, blah. And pretty much Martin was on the side of Queen. 
However, the way he relayed the facts of the situation, I could appreciate and I could respect um, because he just stuck to the facts. He stuck to the facts. He provided receipts. He provided, provided evidence. And anything that he did not have evidence to, he gave an opinion and stated it as an opinion and said allegedly or whatever. And another thing he also does is he reached out, he reaches out to other influencers to get their sides of the story. So I can respect that. Like you're not just, oh, because I like Queen Naja, I'm gonna just reach out to Queen Naja and get her side. Bump you, Chris. He always gave, he always, and not just them, every situation, every story he's ever talked about, I used to hear with my own two ears and see with my own two eyes him showing evidence of him reaching out to people. And to be honest, I think that it's safe to say that he's highly respected amongst a lot of other big YouTubers, millions of followers and over, because nine times out of 10, I used to see him providing evidence of a lot of people responding to him because I think they knew like he's going to tell the story as this is the facts. These are the facts. Um, and another thing I really respect about Martin was the fact that um, if he did tell a story and he was not able to get in contact with the person involved and they watched the video and they sent him like this is the real receipt of the situation he always came back and corrected it every i've seen him several times say hey update this is really what it was like he never lets his personal feelings get the best of him and take him out of i'm going to give you guys the reaction to this particular situation that has just not been the norm what when it comes to me keisha cable nine times out of ten actually ten out of ten Every reactor who has come forward, and let's just speak about the Jeremy having a child outside our, um, our relationship situation. Every single reactor, I haven't had not one person reach out to me to get my side of the story for anything. Not that we even wanted to tell a side of any story, because when we wrote the book, that was not our intentions. This was not to tell our side of the story with the individual at all it was just kind of sort of to tell the facts that he had a child and just let it be that but when people decided okay this is tea worthy this is drama i get it no one at that point decided hey let me reach out to jeremy or keisha and get the facts from them even if we're inside of the other opponent like we're still going to make sure we report off the facts no one no one and when i tell y'all i can't i can't even count how many videos have been made about my business and my situation speaking as if it's facts speaking in a condescending manner towards me making up stuff adding things all of the above and no one i mean no one has reached out and even when other people have reached out with the intentions of saying well hey here are some facts that you probably need no i don't want to hear no that's not this no that's not that so it's always been um, Tori, it has always been about tarnishing me. So with that being said, after the situation kind of, it was what it was with the, everybody come to the internet. There was a particular individual, Paris Harley, who took it upon themselves to get more further invested into my life than normal. And by invested, and I'm going to include some of the things that they've done. Um, and these are just some of the things. Um, let's just start with they've made over 89 videos about me and my life. The most recent thing that they've done that was completely borderline crazy um, was going into explicit detail about my home, how to find my home to the point where several people text me pictures of my home. Several people invaded my privacy. Several people made me feel uncomfortable. Several people said Paris Harley told them how to find it. Um, they have paid Jeremy's siblings, one in particular, Shanita, to be a part of the foolishness. They have reached out to his mother, um, Paris has reached out to my my former employees. Paris has made warning videos to my employees as if Paris knows me personally. Paris has instructed people to um, make false claims to child protective services in which they have done so three times um, within the last six months. Paris has, um, Paris has 
and encourage people to um, reach out to my brand um, with a particular script, reach out to my management with a particular script. And every single brand, every single brand that I had worked with at that point when the script was first created was a part of it, how to contact that brand, how to, um, what to say to that brand. Of course, lies. The, the, the main thing they wanted my the brands to know was I was harassing another woman on the internet um, and bullying someone and mocking someone's mental health. When in fact, case in point, when all this was going down in the beginning, I pleaded with the internet that I was going through postpartum depression and that was kind of swept under the rug. Um, and not to mention when a lot of my earlier hate videos started, it was because of the state of my mental health swept under the rug. Um, also some things Paris has done was, um, bully my children, speak out of term about my children, send pictures of my minor children to, um, known the word rhymes with edophile. Yes, baby. Um, talk about my children in a malicious Me. mannerism. Hey, baby. Me. Encourage a particular individual to keep their child away from my family, their siblings, their father. Hey. Um, and the list just goes on and on. And I have had to endure this extreme amount of bullying and cyber stalking and hate and troll. Oh yeah, also run a whole hate train. See, the thing about Martin Lewis is Martin Lewis does not have a platform based off the hate of one person. The people who are watching Martin Lewis's videos are just there to listen and watch the reactions of different situations that's going on amongst several platforms. The people who are following Paris's platform all have one thing in common. And that's their hate for me. So crazy to the point that anyone who speaks out in support of me gets doxxed. They then get harassed. Yeah. A lot of people wonder why my person, my friends who yeah. you know you guys see on a regular don't ever come come out anymore with support of me. Um, <laughs> they were all threatened to have their jobs contacted if they publicly. Um, spoke out about me in defense of me. They were bullied. Their um, looks were um, talked about in disgusting mannerisms. And their family was then threatened to be contacted. Um, people's jobs were contacted. Houses were put on the internet. Children were bullied. All because someone said, stop. You know, I'm not in favor of the things you all do to Keisha. So a lot of these things were going on. And with that being said, me and Martin Lewis had a conversation. I can't remember exactly what month it is, but if I bet my bottom dollar, I want to say it was last June about the extent of the bullying, the trolls, the cyber stalking. And we could relate because he also, too, had a cyber stalker at one point in his life. And we talked about things that he had to do. He gave me some advice about some things that he suggested I do. Um, and... I told him, I give him my blessing to speak on the behalf of the bullying and cyber stalking that I have endured because an injustice for one is an injustice for all. And also I posted on my story something today. I don't know if you guys saw it, but let me tell you what it reads. It says, if you're silent about your pain, they'll kill you and say you enjoyed it by Zora Neale Hurston. This is what I post. Well, y'all can't see it. Y'all just heard what I said. So with me being silent for months and months and months, whenever, when I wasn't standing up for myself, when I wasn't speaking out against the trolls, the bullying, the cyber stalking, the, the hate, none of that. When I was silent, the story began. She loves this. She loves when we speak about her. She loves, she, she's feeding off this. Now she's taunting us in her blogs to do more. We're going to do more. So, what they did do more. They, in Paris's Discord, they began taking all of my videos and uploading every single video. You okay, Jory? You okay? Let me see what she needs. Oh. What happened, baby? What are you doing? 
so silly. <laughs> but they started taking all of my videos. And this is another content creator. This is someone who would never want to suffer with any consequences on their channel. But that's why I tell people you reap what you sow. So for months, they were taking my, probably still are today, taking my videos, downloading my videos to um, third party sites so that I would not get paid. Uh-uh. It's mama's tea. No, mommy don't want you to steal my tea. Oh, but night, 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 night. Taking my videos, downloading my videos, laughing. Mm -hmm. Um, um, exploiting my children in the videos, talking about them. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Yes. And like I said, the list just goes on and on and on. And like I said, when I wasn't speaking up, when I wasn't saying anything, the story was exactly what the post was. Like, she likes this. She loves this. This is, this. you know, this is right up her alley. Like, stuff like that. And as horrifying as it was to endure something like that, I was not in the right mental state for majority of this, this stuff. I had to get into counseling again. No, baby, no, baby. I had to get into counseling. No, this mama's, this mama's life. This mama's life. Go, go watch baby. Go watch baby here. Go watch baby. Girl, you're going to be slick till you can't be slick no more. But um, yeah, like just a whole bunch of different scenarios um and like i said i don't i don't even have the time to tell you guys every single thing that paris has done or paris's hate train of keisha haters have done um and this is not a pity party you guys um i've gotten a lot of great support from my friends and family over the last few um, months um and i have done the work with my mental health of going to counseling and um using discernment for how i go about things um so i decided to um reach out to some very important people and start a major in investigation with the situation at hand because i was not going you stand for one thing you'll fall for any i was not going to stand for harassment another second and it has been when this I think last September, September, October, November, December, January. So about six months of a whole investigation that has been ongoing. Yes. And I'm talking about very thorough investigation. Ooh. And I can finally say I'm so grateful that consequences Ooh. have finally been rendered Ooh. to Paris. Because I, I just can't tell you guys how terrible you feel when you feel helpless that people think that what they're doing is okay and putting the lives of children at risk on a daily basis like talking about a house and giving people directions of how to find my house and you know your whole platform calls in on a regular talking about when they see me they're going to do this to me they're going to cause harm to me these are the types of things that people are looking at when they are launching their investigation when they're when they're looking at your videos Yay! Yay. They're hearing people call in and say, Yay. when I see her, Yay. I'm in Atlanta, I'm going to be her or da da da, things like that. And you say this is not harassment. Well, YouTube determined that was a lie. So, Martin, Yay. like I said, I spoke to him last Yay. year when it was at the thick of all the Yay. drama, all the harassment. And I told him that, like I said, he can make the video about the bullying. And of course, people always are going to know, like, well, where did this come from? People are always asking me, my friends, people who know me, like, where did this come from? Like, why is this person all up on you? Like, why are they harassing you and your kids? Like, what's going on? And although a lot of the harassment that I've endured has started before, this is years of stuff that people have done. But... Paris's reign has pretty much been off of the situation with Jeremy and, and the mother of his son. And of course, Martin, as a good reactor that he is, knows that if you're gonna tell the truth, you gotta you gotta tell all parts of it. Can I can I can I see me on the light? <laughs> you gotta tell 
tell the whole truth. So when he when he told me that he has to kind of go into the situation that happened with Jeremy having a child outside the relationship, I honestly was not in favor because what a lot of people are trying to do is like, oh, she reached out to Martin to bring up the situation in this old. When I talked to Martin, it was about bullying and harassment. And that was last June when he first said he was going to do it. Upon starting, he realized the hate was so deep. The hate was so consistent that it was much bigger than he ever anticipated. And he came to me. He said, look, I have to tell what led up to this. Because the whole reason why Paris and a lot of people came to YouTube with their videos originally because there was a narrative being spun that I deserved the hate that I was getting because I called another chick a side woman. So, so Martin wanted to get to the bottom of like, why are these people saying this? Like, what is it about this book? What is it about this sit down video? And of course I provided the receipts. Um, like I said, I was not really in favor of this because to be honest, I'm just, I'm sick and tired of people getting clout off of my name. So I kind of was asking him, like, is there any way that you can, like, not have to go into detail about that? Because plenty of people have already gotten enough clout. Um, plenty of people have already done a, enough damage, if you will. And he told me he cannot tell the story unless he's telling the whole story. And I've watched his channel enough and I respect him enough and I trusted him enough to say, you know what? The bullying is really the ultimate thing for me to, to, to speak out against. And if I'm going to let him tell this bullying story, then I guess he does owe it to his audience to, to give the whole story. And I have nothing to hide. So do it. Let's put everything on the table and let's do it. And like I told you guys earlier, anyone who speaks out in support of me, they are threatened, harassed, and all of the above. So if you go and look at Martin's video, he has not released the video yet. I don't know when he's going to release it. So don't ask me. We're not in cahoots or anything like that. The only thing that we have done is I provide receipts for things that he asked. And that's it. Like we ain't talking like, hey, so let me know. It's literally receipts. And it has been months. Like I said, this started last June of me having a conversation with him. I was like, Are you, is he doing this video? Month, June, July, August, September. He was like, I'm still going to do it. I just, I'm doing research. I'm like, what kind of research is he doing? What's, what's he doing? But I did my due diligence and I answered answer all the questions. And I provided even more receipts because I never really have come on my platform and told my side of the story. There, there really wasn't a side of the story to tell other than the fact of my truth, which was he had a child outside the relationship and period, like, let's move on. Like if I, if you all say I wouldn't have st stuck with him, that's perfectly fine. I'm not asking, I didn't ask no one in the book to support who I chose to love. I just said, you still have to just respect what the, what it is and what is not. You can't get too invested in people's lives that a lot I've seen, but a lot of people say I, I had to stop supporting her because of what she did or what situation she was in, but then you went and supported the other woman. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I couldn't support Keisha anymore because she's not a good example for her followers, but I'm gonna go support homegirl over there and she's a much better example. You guys were also saying things in his comments about, this is so old. Why would you let a man come and harass a woman? Well, I'll be damned. Yeah. Yeah. Where was all this energy when that man was harassing me and my children? Where was the energy of the man shouldn't be talking about a woman's business? And let's be clear. This is not a transphobic, homophobic thing. For those who don't know, let me take you down memory lane. I dated women for eight years. Jeremy's my first real boyfriend. So let's be clear. Some of my sister's best friends are gay. And I'm actually very close with a lot of them. Martin, I mean, it was never an issue of a transgender, male, gay, lesbian. None of that mattered about who decided to talk about the story. The only emphasis I put on it was you are not going to bully a mother and her children. Being that you cannot have any, whatever you choose to identify as, that is your prerogative. Yeah. And I respect that. But you couldn't even respect my safety. 
You you couldn't respect my children. Careful, baby. You you you. The, I know we're not saying that this is old. When Homegirl was just on live and and y'all were just saying, and I quote, "What do your friends say about your baby daddy's baby mama?" Put some respect on my name. I'm not just a baby mama. For one. Secondly, she responded in in regard to me, saying I'm I'm needing attention. I don't even know what this attention you all speak of. So it's only old news when anyone speaks out against in, in favor of me. However, Martin has not spoken out in favor of me. And people are, he can literally be making a video and gonna drag me too. I don't know. I didn't see the video. He's not giving me the video first. But just because he said things in the video like, hey, I've reached out to people who were against the situation trying to get the facts and they blocked me, go figure. They don't wanna talk to me, go figure. They're giving loopholes in their story, go figure. But the person you all said was so behind the scenes and throws rocks and hides hands has given me everything I've ever asked. So just getting into the story, I'm looking at the situation like, well, Keisha must not really be as bad as y'all think because Martin can tell you himself, I've given everything he asked. I didn't go up there and praise all hell, praise Jeremy when you tell the story, all hell, praise. No, it ain't that. If he get up there and say, I didn't F with the, well, he don't even act like that, but if he gets up there and says, I'm not in favor of her stand, they, he played both of them, that's his opinion. As long as he doesn't take it into a lie of, this started because Keisha brought this on her stuff by self by saying that someone was a one night stand. Because when he when he releases his video, his series, because he's doing a very detailed series. He's talk, like, I know it's detailed as long as he's taking to got, get it together. But when he releases the series, it's going to be very apparent who was lying and who wasn't. And this is not about saying if he really was doing something with her or not. This is not about that. We already know that what that was. But there were a lot of loopholes on other people's end. I never had a loophole. I never called no one a side person. I never, I never came to the internet and disrespected his son's mother. I only had to come to the internet and defend myself once she got herself involved on the internet by choice, not because I forced her. I didn't do those things. And it's gonna be pointed out very clearly that I did not do those things. The dates and the receipts don't lie. When things don't add up, when things aren't mathing, then you cannot get mad at the other person just because you don't like them. You can't do that. And it was unfair and unjust for me to have to endure a year of cyber stalking and harassment and bullying. It, that's what it was. The obsession you guys have, that's what it was. That's exactly what it was. Harassment and, and, and cyber stalking is wrong. And you all will not silence me. And now this is something I'm very passionate about that I'm gonna make sure that I get involved in the community community when it comes to that. Because now I really have something that personally hits home to me. And I'm gonna do my due diligence to find some way for me to go out into the community to spread awareness to bullying and harassment. Because no one should have to endure that. No one should have to endure that. So this is not about rehashing drama. This isn't about that. This is about shedding light to truth. And that no one gave a true account of what happened in the situation. Let's just call a spade a spade. You guys already had hatred towards me. 90% of the people who are a part of Paris's platform. You guys already had hatred towards me. Let's be clear. People send me screenshots of things y'all say all the time. Some of y'all I blocked in 2016. Some of y'all I blocked in 2016. I remember distinctively y'all names. I'm like, why y'all keep saying I'm this and I'm that and I blocked you in 2016? Let it go. Let it go. The obsession you all have with clinging on to me is starting to look like desperation. It feels like desperation to me. And I've never got a solid answer as to why. So much as to so, a few months ago, I asked people on these platform, what's you all's real issue? What's you all's beef? You all, you said you were going to have a house and you haven't had a house yet. 
Like I owe you guys every aspect of everything. And if I don't give you guys every aspect of everything, you go out of your way to harass me and figure it out for yourselves. You all said that I didn't have a house. You all said I said I was going to be in a house. The moment I said, I said, bought a house, y'all. Less than 24 hours, someone posted my home on YouTube with the instructions and everything. Less than 24 hours, Paris was on Paris's platform nitpicking about any little thing going on in my house instead of congratulating a fellow black person for their success. You can say you don't like my relationship choices. You can say you don't like my relationship choices. You can't take away me being a good mother. You cannot take away how hard I work for mine. I don't use nobody else's name and clout. You all say, oh, she's always looking for a money-making scheme, but I do it off my own name. I don't work for schemes. I'm an entrepreneur and I find ways to invest and make money and help other people. The bullying and harassment was so funny. It was all fun and games until consequences were rendered. No one cared about my mental health. So let's not be in Martin's comments talking about single mother mental health. I literally just had given birth to Jory and y'all were making videos talking about my body. Her whole friend was online talking about my body and I had to sit through hours of this. I had to sit through hours of this to, to, to get help from an attorney. Weeks away from me giving birth to my baby. And I told you guys, hey, I'm going through postpartum depression. I'm going through postpartum depression. Please, like, please, like, I understand that y'all mad at Jeremy, but it don't seem like y'all really mad at Jeremy. It seemed like y'all finally said, aha. So like I said, let's call a spade a spade. It was never about Keisha doing wrong with this book. It was about we finally have something and somebody we can use against Keisha. You guys use the mother of his son for my detriment. That's exactly what happened. You all don't really like her. You all don't really care about the baby. This was about we can pay her off. Keep the baby away. Think we're hurting Keisha. But really, this is his son and my children's brother. No blood relative to me at all, other than the love through my children and, and Jeremy. Say that Keisha harassed this woman. Say that I exploited this, this woman's child who, and let's, let's bring it back to Brilliant Bree. Brilliant Bree, come in. You were dead ass wrong for what you did, Brilliant Bree. See, like I said, I don't watch reactors. I don't, I don't know nothing about who's a reactor, who's this, who's that. All I know was I was sent Brilliant Brief video to my Instagram, and I saw the title. I didn't go to Brilliant Brief page. I didn't go look into Brilliant Brief. I could care less. All I saw was the title, and the title read, Keisha Kaylee lying about the baby being at her house. And I immediately reached out to her. And I said, hey, sis, I don't know why you're making videos about me, but that's 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 a lie. I, why would I lie about him being over at our house? And I didn't even say he was at our house. I said his belongings were in the room. I cleared it up and she went on to a whole tangent talking ish about this girl. I know women like her, blah, 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 going in about her. And I got comfortable with the conversation as a woman would. And I'm like, shoot, girl, yes. I, I don't understand like people, like, why is she on the internet talking about me? Like at this point, it was it was pl plenty of Instagram posts of her calling me ungodly. I defended myself because she came to Instagram saying I was an ungodly woman and she was keeping the baby away from me and his ungodly father. And that was not the right narrative. You were publicly on YouTube and Instagram keeping the baby, but behind the scenes, that's not what it was. And I didn't take like to that. I, I was like, what? Well, how am I ungodly? You would want to sleep with somebody's, but I don't care if you got your feelings involved. That's cool. That's you and his fault. You and, <laughs> and let me, let me put A and D and his fault. But that, it was not my fault. It was not my fault. So much so that when I forgave him, I told you guys, I had to forgive her. And I did that genuinely when I sat down with her while I was pregnant. But you guys mocked the care package, said she mocked the care package, and she was at a hard time in her life. 
She was at a very hard time in her life. And I I did something from the kindness of my heart. We didn't even have a DNA test. And I'm just like, look, sis, I I, I feel for you. I'm a mom. Like, if you if you need it, I got you. Like, I'm going to look out for you. And this is just to show you I'm going to be a team player if the, if the test comes back positive. And that, and, that was, and that was mocked. Like any positive thing that I did for the situation was mocked. The only thing you all wanted to talk about was I called someone a side woman. Like, let it go. And to be honest, I didn't call her that then. But I was the one who was in a relationship with him. So anybody outside of that relationship is a side or other or whatever you want to call it. But you guys are saying in Martin's comments, reach out to the pastels. They know the true her. Yeah, the only pastel that matters is Jeremy. Reach out to that pastel. And he did. <laughs> like, why are y'all saying reach out to the pastels? Because that's that harassment stuff I be talking about. Shanita's not even on her right state of mind to be credible. She has no credibility in this situation. His mother should not even have been brought up, period. And you guys should be ashamed of yourself for bringing his mother into the situation when y'all once upon a time were talking about every little detail of her. But all of a sudden, when y'all thought she didn't like Keisha or we like you now, everybody's always good with y'all when, when they say they don't like me. Y'all talked about Brittany, my old best friend. Y'all talked about her like a dog, talked about her, her features and everything under the sun. But a moment me and her not cool anymore. Oh, Brit, you can sit with us now. That's that fake stuff I'm talking about. That's that stuff I be talking about. That's how you know it's real hate that you all have. It's real hate that you guys have to figure out why, why we have this hate for this girl. Because like I said, y'all's real problem is not because I call someone a side woman. No one can provide a factual receipt yet of me saying that. Because I didn't. I didn't call, I didn't even talk about her in the book. That's why when it came back and said, Keisha said this, I'm like, and then y'all changed it and said, no, Jeremy said it and Keisha know he said it. So she's now a part of it too. It's not, it don't work like that. He didn't say it either. He didn't, he never called her a side woman or anything. He didn't disrespect her in the book. He didn't dis disrespect her in the sit down video. Neither one of us did that. You guys just wanted to use anything. So when she came to the internet, you're so much prettier than Keisha. She's jealous of you. She's this, she's that, all these things crazy things that you guys were saying to hurt me you guys never were looking for the truth in the situation you guys let it go on too long so don't say keisha's bringing up anything you guys would not let it go because you all went on y'all went y'all went surpassed the hate that you guys had for me and turned it into real like like i said y'all were just asking her on her live what do your friends think about your baby daddy's baby mama why y'all talking about me over there? Leave it alone. Stop bringing me up over there. I don't follow her. I don't know nothing she's doing in her life. And like I told you guys, after August came to our house in October and I saw how things went left when things were not looking good for her on YouTube. Mommy. Yes, baby. <laughs> okay. I, I, actually, it's about to die. So you all just go watch TV, okay? It's about to die. I know, but it's about to die, okay? You want to watch it till it dies? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Can't watch it. Go back in there and watch it till it dies. It's on 20%. Then y'all going to bed. What, baby? You want to come up here? Oh. You want to go, you want to go watch it with them? What you want? You're sleepy. Come on, let me go put you in the bed. You're sleepy, mama. You gotta go to bed. Now, you need to watch the baby now. Okay, y'all. Yeah, actually, Jory, what you just said, um, in Florida, yeah, Jory has been acting real strange. <laughs> like, unless I'm in the room, like, she act like she cannot stay in the room when it comes to night. 
When I, if I go in the room right now, she will not get out that bed. She will lay right beside me. But it's like, she wasn't doing this for a while. It's like the last three weeks, I want to say, she has to really be beside me. But anyways, like I was saying, you guys, I have tried to tread as light as possible when it came to the situation. Out of respect for myself, out of respect for my children. Hell, even at, at some point, I had so much respect for her child. What is it, Journey? Hold on. They probably fighting about this thing on. What, baby? Uh-uh. I'm going to take the iPad because you are you are. Oh, that candle smells so good. It's keeping me at peace. And y'all, don't get this, my, my tone distracted with like being angry because I'm far from that. I'm just passionate about this situation. Um, and like I said, Martin made his video saying that the series is about to come out. And just the stuff that they were saying alone in the comments were trying to, it's proving the point of the hate. He hasn't even made the video yet. And people are like going crazy. You don't know the truth. You don't know the truth. Um, I think anybody who's been doing research about one particular situation for the last six months, pretty sure they're more credible than people who keep saying, I didn't even read the book, but I know she said it. I heard she said it. She always throwing rocks and hiding hands and can't even provide any evidence. People here talking, who he's talking to saying, hey, so when did, can you show me when she said this, that, and the third, or... Oh, oh, I heard. No, it's not going to go. It's not going down like that anymore. I'm not standing for the harassment of myself and my children. Like I said, I don't have a problem with Martin talking about the situation. Like I said, I, I thought he was going to be talking about the situation in June, July. But I do appreciate and respect him for doing his due diligence. I never said, don't go talk to her. I never said, don't go talk to anybody. I can't tell him what to do. Only thing I can say is this is the truth. And I included all parts of the truth. There was so much stuff that he's asked me for and some things just to prove my, like stuff that I've never talked about, some things that just never came out. And I gave him the facts because I don't have anything to hide. I don't have anything to hide. Do I care about protecting all children involved, absolutely. And I think that's the number one problem I have with the situation is because everyone wants to protect August, but there are four children involved, not one. There are four. And you guys are doing everything in your power to separate siblings. And a lot of y'all grew up without y'all daddies. A lot of y'all grew up in broken homes. A lot of y'all grew up in situations that are very unfortunate and you wish and you can't take back those younger years you can't take back i wish my daddy was in my birthday pictures i wish my daddy was this but y'all do all these things and then y'all blame jeremy's a deadbeat jeremy wants no part how do you be a deadbeat for one out of four of your kids make it make sense i'm sitting here saying he's not a deadbeat all three of my girls will say the complete opposite but you guys are saying he's a deadbeat because someone won't allow him to take care of his son, not because she's a single mother because he doesn't want to be there, but by choice. And I don't want things to get misconstrued because a lot of people in this situation keep pitting me and her against one another. And I want that to stop now. Because this is not a competition between who has this and who does that and all these different things and he should have chose her like we need to stick to the facts and the facts alone are i was harassed for over a year about my boyfriend stepping out of our relationship and having a child with someone else and instead of the internet if somebody had to be held accountable instead of him being held accountable you guys decided to spite me and praise and uplift someone else who was just as faulty in the situation as he was 
a woman who willingly chooses to sleep with a man who she knows is in a relationship, that's faulty to me. Call it what it is. I know y'all are saying, well, she didn't have loyalty to you, but she has morals. Yeah, yeah. So let's get past that. Let's get past that. Why? Because August will be two in March. So we're past the whole how it went down and who, like, all that doesn't matter. That's so young minded. Oh, Zora, patience is a virtue with you, honey. If you don't leave my light alone, and why you think I just be? Huh? Leave my light alone, girl. What you about to do? You want mommy come to bed? <laughs> well, you come, you come up here. This is about Martin being able to share a very unfortunate situation that happened and the truth behind how it got to the internet, how it stayed on the internet and how it festered out of control. That's what I'm talking about. So when my house was doxxed on the internet and then what you all say, what Paris said, he said, I'm, I'm the fault. I'm the reason why someone would come and do some harm to me at my own house. And the only thing I had posted was a, a little Instagram saying, hey, we bought a house. What did you guys do? Go to my realtor. Insta I mean, not her Instagram. Go to my realtor's website. Look up every single house that she had on her website that was for sale. Look at every single house's pictures and say, oh, this must be the house. Bring it back to YouTube, Google the pictures, Google the words, say how much I should have been spending. Like everything, under, everything I do is being put under a microscope, but everybody else can just act any kind of way. And everybody turns a blind eye. People can act any kind of way. And I don't want, I, I'm, oh, I've got to refrain from saying what I really want to say. People can do whatever they want to do on the internet. But when Keisha does any little thing, we got to put her under a microscope. Don't, that's not right. That's not right. I asked Martin when I first started talking to him, I said, do you know me? He said, no. <laughs> I said, have you seen my channel before? He said, I think I came across it, but it wasn't nothing going on for me to be reacting to. You don't say. Because Paris and other people like Paris takes it upon themselves to go bring drama from my life to the internet. And then say, I asked for it because I'm a, I'm a content creator. Y'all go find drama, like reaching out to my neighbor, harassing my neighbor while my child was in the hospital and get me and my neighbor to almost have a freaking brawl because I got to defend myself. That's called harassment. Say it again, because I think a lot of you guys don't know what harassment is. So when you all say he shouldn't have lost his monetization, If that's the consequences that YouTube went, I don't know what the consequences YouTube. YouTube. I just know the, the, the case, they told me they had handled some consequences. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying that that's what they told me. I'm saying based off what you guys have said. And if that's the punishment, no one cared when we're going to make sure she gets no money. We're going to make sure she doesn't get no views. She's not getting any views anymore. She doesn't deserve it. But you're a fellow content creator. I bet it sucks to suck, right? You're trying to hurt my brand, hurt how I feed my family because my boyfriend cheated. Essentially, that's what that means, because my boyfriend cheated. Because I want someone to come in the comments and I'll wait for someone to give one and don't say, oh, she backstabbed her friend, Brittany. I've already provided receipts that that's not what happened. I never told Brittany to speak about um, homegirls personal situation never so much to the point that i stood on principle that i had to, i had to say you know what you should apologize for that because that's that why would you do that but when her friend go on the internet and talk about my mama my children my parenting and everything under the sun you all say uh no let me keep this thought when you when when she did all that did, did she say you should go apologize to her because i was wrong no no 
But I told my friend, hey, you should go apologize. That was wrong. That was wrong. You all said Keisha can't ever talk for herself. But in October, when she was on Instagram ranting, when she, when she came to YouTube to tell her side of the story, she was sitting beside Paris virtually because they weren't in the same room. But she needed Paris to speak for her. So how can I not stand up? I've never came and made a live and I didn't do it by myself. No one's ever in a room except for my kids. No, I don't need no one to speak for me. If people choose to speak out against the injustices that have been brought to me, then that's one thing. But to speak for me, never. I haven't honestly yet to see any time where she has sat beside no. herself, by herself, and spoke out against something. It's always Paris in her ear. No, this is what it is. Who? This is what it is. And like she, you, she should have never had him in the house. I'm not saying anyone needs to say he should do her a favor, but if we're if we're parents and we have the better interests of our children, then we should all be collaboratively working together to ensure that they can still stick together no matter what. Because he has three siblings, he's not an only child. But every time she the conversation is with her, it's always about how he can he like everybody's always talking about how we can pay her. So that he don't have to come and spend time with his his daddy's side of the family. Like, where they do that at? Is y'all mamas teaching y'all this? Did y'all mama say that that's what they did? That's why your daddy wasn't in your life? Because that's shame on them too. Despite how I felt about the situation, I never wanted my children to grow up and say, damn, mom, like, we had a brother who could have protected us or did this. And now we we not meeting him till we 22, 23 years old, and we didn't miss out on birthday parties. We didn't miss out on our youth. Like, I don't want that. I didn't want that, and I still don't want that now. So don't say, I can't stand up on my own, but whenever there's something going on that y'all don't like, y'all say, Paris, you go you go help her talk about the situation. Like I said, the double standards make no sense to me. And I've sat back, and I've just watched this like, wow. They are, Like I said, y'all are literally, if, for people who are supporters of Martin who may not know me, which a lot of them are pr pretty sure don't, they're probably reading the comments, probably thinking like, what the hell? And until the videos come out to debunk all of that, it's going to be fuzzy for them. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys just, y'all don't want nothing positive to be said about me. Nothing. Nothing. Y'all don't want my children to love me. Y'all don't want me to be a good daughter to my mom. Y'all say I'm abusing my mom. I'm working my mom to death. Y'all don't want me to be loved by Jeremy? Oh, gosh, please. Y'all was in the comments saying that he was just in another woman's bed. And it, he wasn't. He was on the couch somewhere where we belong. People was in my DMs going back and forth with me about it. And then y'all say, I do too much. I'm always trying to pr prove something. When y'all looking at somebody's story and trying to tell him where he at. And y'all was, wasn't was even right about where he was at. He wasn't even in the bed. He was on the couch why would he in his right mind ever post something if he was doing something he had no business doing or when he got in his right mind because obviously we saw he was lit i don't got a cap like he was lit when well, soon as he got unlit he could have just easily deleted like oh f like like come on like but no y'all was saying i can't wait for him to have another baby on her like because that's that's how deep the hate goes oh it died let me see oh no i'll put it back for you thank you though you're so sweet. I'll put it back. No, you don't need to get that. Come on, let's go to it's, it's bedtime now. Um, no, no scooter. I told the daddy to put that back up. Okay. Come on, Jaya. No scooter. Come on. No scooter. It's bedtime. What did I say? Bedtime. Night night, okay? Okay, but it's like so many people want to fight 
I mean, I, I just read the word fight. I didn't mean to say fight. Somebody wrote jewelry fighting that sleep. <laughs> so many people want to continue to bring up any little thing that I've done or seemingly have done wrong. But you guys forget to, to state the things that, like I said, since we're talking about the bullying, the main bullier, Paris, you all think Paris is a saint. You guys think Paris is the best thing that ever happened to you guys because now we finally have a, a place where we can all congregate and tear down this girl. Like I said, if you all don't care for my relationship choice, that's okay. That's okay. But to make a whole private account that is solely removed, used to sabotage me and everything about me just speaks volumes on the hatred that you guys have. It's far beyond, like, you guys don't really care about Jeremy and what he's doing. You guys only talk about Jeremy and what he's doing to make it look, make me look bad. Oh, Jeremy did this. Keisha, this is your man. This is your man. You guys don't really care about what Jeremy got going on. If I broke up with Jeremy today and got with another man tomorrow, y'all gonna just be on the other man. And, or go tell Jeremy, oh, go find somebody who's your type. Like, are you crazy? You guys want to, y'all, you all have done a lot of damaging things. And like I said, I can't even, I, I've said the worst things that you guys have done. And I finally am able to come forward strong enough to look you guys on this internet and say how terrible this experience has been for me. If I would have thought in a million years, in a million years, that the internet could be so wicked and evil, I probably would never have signed up to be a YouTuber. Because this is like, this is crazy to me. This is crazy. The lies that you guys pull out of your ass and just regurgitate as if it's factual. Hell, if my children had phones, you would probably be calling them to try to tell them to turn against me. Hey, go put Clorox in mommy's. Like, you guys, I'm telling you, that's how insane you guys have been. It's really sad. And I do appreciate everyone who has continuously been here and defended me as best as they knew how. Because like I said, anyone who's defended me, I have so many messages from people saying, hey, Keisha, I'm a silent supporter. I have to be a silent supporter because when I spoke out on Paris's channel, they all, all came and drugged me, found my Instagram page, drugged me for fifth, did this, did that. And it's so, I'm like, damn, I'm so sorry. It's, I'm, I, I don't know what to tell people. I don't, I really don't know what to tell people. But there are so many of you guys who have still tried no matter what. Hey, I'm reporting the videos. Hey, I'm doing this. Hey, I'm doing that. And within this investigation, YouTube was able to go and pull the metrics. You can edit your community posts all you want. But when you tell people to go call Child Protective Service on me, they're able to see what the original post said. Bingo. That's why you got to be careful what you put on the internet. And, I, and, at the, and the thing that, that really bothers me the most with Paris is because my attorney spoke to Paris. Paris begged to talk to me. Talk to Paris. Okay, cool. Fast forward. No, 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 no. Let me let me get let me get the order of operations right. Paris drugged me on the internet for about 30 days. With about at that point 36 videos. Or 30, 32 videos. Those was a little bit over because I think Paris started in December. So 36 videos by the time I sent Paris to cease and desist. Paris never reached out to me, didn't want to talk to me, had this matter-of-fact attitude. I even have people commenting and saying, it's personal with Paris and Keisha because Paris, Keisha did something so bad to Paris. It, go, it goes back. Their history goes back. I don't know Paris. I don't know Paris. I didn't find out who Paris was until I had hired an attorney and an investigator. And then when other people who are on the uh, who support me actually had to do even more digging and research to find out who Paris really was. But anyways... Paris then wants to cease and desist was sent. Par That's when Paris, it's like everybody wants to do what they want to do. But the moment I take action, oh, you could have called, you could have talked to me. You could have this. No, you could have just not done what you did. 
it's too late. So I send Paris to cease and desist. Paris then reaches out to me, DMs me. I didn't even see the DM. But Paris DMs me, oh, you could have, let's talk about it. Let's, no, 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 all cool, calm, collected then. Mm-mm. You didn't have, have no animosity when you reached out to me in my DMs. Paris decides nothing is going to be done. I'm going back to the, 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 the old ways. Because you already have a whole platform built off of hating me. There's nothing else you can do but hate me. Or you won't be getting the views that you wanted to have. So anyways, fast forward. Months later, me and Paris talk again. This time me and Paris, Paris, um, via DM, Paris says, I want to talk to you on the phone. You can call me. I'm like, no, you call me. Talk to Paris for about two and a half hours approximately. Very innocent. Very, I don't have any hate for you. I just, you know, this is just what, you know, she was telling me what was going on and, you know, no one ever heard your side of it. And, you know, if if you tell me your side of it and everything that you're telling me, you know, pans out, you can you can send me the receipts. I said, Paris, I'm not sending you no receipts. Are you crazy? You crazy? You must be crazy out your mind if you think I'm about to send you some receipts. I said, Paris, just ain't about that. I've not asked you to go speak on my behalf. I can go speak on my own behalf. That Brilliant Bree situation was not an undermining thing. I was not talking to Brilliant, Brilliant Bree because I was trying to get August drug on the internet. Are you crazy out your mind? I was talking to Brilliant Bree because I was defending myself of something y'all put me in. Because y'all said, Ashley, she's been doing this for so long. Like, don't trust her around your baby. She's going to hurt your baby. She's obsessed with your baby. And she listened to y'all fools. But when I said, when I talked to Paris for two and a half hours that time, Paris kept saying, if I find out she was telling the truth, I'm going to be so upset. And, and um, I, I'm going to correct it. I'm going to come forward and I'm going to correct it. And I'm going to tell her like it is. I said, well, Paris, I'm not telling you to lose a friend. Obviously, I see that y'all are friends. It's not about that for me. But I would like you to correct your, your, your statement. So I can send you the book for you to read because Paris said, I didn't read the book. And I have that on recording. I didn't read the book, but yet you're 36 videos in talking about the things that she done to this woman. You're disgusting. You're a good ass mom. All that. Y'all forget all that. But when I talked to Paris, I didn't read the book. Oh, you didn't read the book, Paris? Did you watch the video? No, I didn't watch the video. Oh, so what? How did you come to this conclusion again? Okay, so with that being said, I'll send you the book. I'll, the same thing I told Martin. I said, I'll send you the book for free. I'll send you the link to the video. If you see somewhere when we call her a side woman, please tell me. Can a real side chick stand up? Because I didn't say it. But anyways, after I got off the phone with Paris the first time, Paris says, I said, you know what, Paris? All I ask of you is to recant your statements about me harassing someone. Because that's, that's never what happened. And recant your statements about me calling someone a side woman. That's never what happened. Um, and apologize for your harassing me and delete the videos. Paris says, well, I don't want to send the wrong impression to my followers. And I don't, this is all on recording. I'm going to be using this recording very soon. Not for the world of YouTube, but you already know I'm handling. This is, it doesn't stop here because I'm going to get, I'm, I'm out for blood. Because I, like I said, I'm telling y'all what happened because a lot of people want to hear what happened. So when I talked to Paris the first time in March, Paris told me that Paris was going to, well, Paris said he couldn't make a public apology because he didn't want to rattle the feathers of his supporters. And I even said, okay, you know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just delete the videos. We'll be good if you just delete the videos. Well, I've already gotten paid for most of them. Paid. Money. You're getting a check off of harassing me. And even in that conversation, I told Paris, okay, well, let's, this is how we can work it out. When you, you can delete the ones you already got paid for, and then you can gradually delete the other ones. Well, I really can't delete the Hurricane Ashley one because um, if I do, they're going to really see what I'm up to. Okay, since then, YouTube has deleted Hurricane Ashley for harassment. You should have listened to me, Paris, back in March. You should have listened because I told you, you were wrong. And when YouTube saw the video, they thought the same thing too. 
Anyways, I told Paris, I said, okay, Paris, you know what? Just delete most of the videos. I said, I'm going to send you the links to the video. She was like, he was like, send me the, send me the video. And like I said, this is not a jab at any community. This is because you have harassed me. So I can't respect someone who's put my kids in danger. Please understand that, you guys. Martin Lewis gets the full respect for whatever his choices are. Everyone else who I meet get the full respect for whoever their choices are or whoever they lay down with. But you will not drag me and my children for a year on the internet and think I'm going to give you the respect you want because you have not earned it. Respect is earned, not given. Especially after I tell y'all how these conversations went down. So like I said, I made an agreement and I got to keep reiterating. And it's all recorded. All seconds of the recording is recorded. We get off the phone. Pa I send Paris. I send Paris the um. Let me see if I have it up right right now, because you know I like to deal in receipts, y'all. Let me see if I have it up right now quickly that I can show y'all. Um, I want to show y'all a DM. Oh, I want to show y'all a DM. Hope it's right here. Uh, it's not up right there. Oh, y'all. I think I, let me see. Let me see. Is this it? Nope, that ain't it. Is this it? Nope, that ain't it. I just want y'all to see. I, I want y'all to know I don't lie. I want y'all to know I don't lie. So I'm going to actually get it right now. So give me a second. I, I, I know it's on here. I got to get it. Let me 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 get it. Mm, would it be? No, that's 17 days. Oh, y'all, give me a second. I'm getting it. so many receipts and stuff that I have. Give me a second. Because I just want y'all to see the truth and what I'm saying. I just want y'all to see one thing. Let me go. Let me get it for y'all. I know it's right. Hold on, y'all. Wait for it to load. Oh, there it goes. Whew. There it goes. I had to find our message thread. Everything's already been screenshotted, so don't try to understand anything at this point but it was quicker for me to just go back to the thread because all of this is going to be used as evidence but i just wanted to show y'all something very important when i say i tried my best it when i tried my best i tried my best so after we got off the phone y'all can read that Y'all read that? Because I know sometimes I'll be saying I can't see stuff. When we got off the phone, I sent the videos like we discussed. And I said, these are the videos. He says, I will work on those gradually. Okay. As time went in, time went on, nothing was deleted. I'm like, okay. I don't know how gradually we talking, but I ain't waiting till next year. Next thing you know, what happened after that? D has recordings on her page. I know because around this time, D had some recordings. So y'all go to D's page. Y'all can see a little bit more. But I'm only speaking out against this because I want you all to see the level of harassment I've endured. I don't want y'all to think this is a joke or this is a game or that Keisha is such a bad person, this monster you guys paint. The person who has harassed me and my children, who have put our lives in danger, I literally made a, an agreement with them. Yes, baby. Mommy's, mommy, uh-uh, bed. You gotta go potty? Go ahead. 
Good job. Oh, Journey. Oh, Journey. Come here, girl. Give me that. Ah, what? What the? Yeah, did you pull? Oh, why Okay, let's go get let's go get new pull ups. Why did y'all go to the potty first? Well, you didn't you tell me after the fact. You couldn't wait? Why you couldn't wait? Jory, now you out there big, girl. Oh. Sorry, I got to wash my hands. Oh, okay, y'all. Sorry, y'all. The girls decided to let it rip. Whew, child. I had to wash my hands and get all that clean. But what I was saying, yeah, so D does have some of the recordings and some of the text messages. After Paris was going to be deleting the videos, 
Um, Paris then messages me. Um, I'm being done dirty in this. Your friend is threatening to release phone calls. Paris, you're being done dirty in this? You're, I made a whole agreement with you to not even publicly apologize. Delete only the videos that you've already gotten a check for. And you're being dur done dirty in this? I could not believe it. But fast forward, after that, me and Paris had a whole nother conversation. And, you know, now at this point, Paris is talking crazy to me in the DMs. And just I'm just like, see, this is why I just can't keep being nice to people. Because I literally made a whole agreement with you after you admitted that you had not read a book and everything that you pretty much said is not credible anymore. No, you you lost all credibility when you told me you didn't read the book. You lost all credibility credibility when you say, I don't watch your channel. You lost all credibility when you told me, I told people that you got my channel removed. I mean, that you uh, um, made a false strike against my channel. and But now I'm going to tell you behind the scenes, like they say I do, that you didn't do that to me. It was really just, I made a video about you in the beginning of your relationship with Jeremy and your fans found the video. They didn't like it. So they all cursed me out. So I had to put my video on private. That's really what happened. I've never seen the video that Paris made in 2017. I would remember Paris's face. I don't make false claims against anybody for copyright. But I still made an agreement with this individual who literally made, who, who thought it was in the best interest to reach out to all of my, after all my brand deals were reached out to, my management was reached out to, and a reckoning video was done. Like, I, you guys read the book. I literally had to say no to a lot of different things. Could not film, could not work. That's loss of wages. That's pain and suffering. That's slander, defamation, and harassment. That's cyber stalking. What does that sound like to you? And you have nothing to say I've done to you. You want to say what D did or what D does or what D says. D ain't me. And D also hasn't done nothing to you. D, let's, let's also get to the order of operations. You guys made a whole reckoning video. Drug me for filth. You all made me the public enemy, me the target, when if anything, it should have been a reckoning of Jeremy. If anything, he's the one who lied to her. I didn't owe her anything. But obviously, I owe her so much, but she owes me nothing. You made a day of reckoning video. You made 36 videos. D, ha who has known me, you don't know homegirl, and you don't know me, and you don't know Jeremy, but you inserted yourself. That's called cyber stalking, a stranger. You get that? But D is someone who knows me and who's known me since I started my YouTube platform, who has known a lot of the things that I've endured while being on this platform and knew firsthand a lot of the situation that was going on personally while it was happening between the situation. So she had firsthand knowledge, personal relationship, and a whole friend in this. You get that? So she had emotional connection to actually be on her platform speaking out against somebody. She didn't just have blatant hate for Ashley. It wasn't about that. She didn't just take my side because she hated Ashley. She took my side because she had facts and she knew truth. You get that? So when D came to the internet, it was 36 videos after a reckoning, lies, slander, manipulation, harassment, and a lot of my followers were gone. A lot. And D said, hold up, flag on the play. I know this girl and the things y'all are saying about her are not true. And I know this situation and that's not how it went down. So let me, let me, let me put in my two cents and tell y'all. Y'all said I fed her receipts, but the receipts were in Jeremy's phone because Jeremy was the one who had these conversations with her, not me. So obviously he wanted the truth to be out. And when D came, it was solely speaking on defending the cheating situation. She didn't bring up Paris. She didn't bring up nobody other than these are the facts of what happened. Of course, since she's on my side and you guys thought it was popular to hate me, you guys doxed her. Someone wrote in a private cult-like 
platform and said activate on the lash tech. You guys wanted to release all of her information to the internet and that's exactly what y'all did. You all brought up her record of being a felon to the internet with, and made it seem as though it was... You guys don't even know her, for one. Let's just start there. You don't know about... You know people are wrongfully accused of things all the time. You guys know about that, right? You guys know about Black people being wrongfully accused. Let's not act brand new. But you guys just hurt felon. Oh, she's a felon. She Y'all don't even know how long she was in there. But you all decided to omit the things that she was a college graduate. And all her accolades that had followed. You guys found one fault in her and decided to exploit that. Then you guys decided to take a recording of her son, her minor child, her minor black boy, and lie and say that her son was calling her a B word, manipulate audio, spread it amongst everywhere, regurgitate it out there for this to, to follow him into his career. And his job may pull his name up and they may be like, what? You was calling your mama? And he don't, he, what? Paris, you brought yourself into the situation with D. You call her discount diva and all these other things talked about her brought her up all because she came on someone else's platform and said hey i'm keisha's friend this is really what happened this is the truth and i don't like i don't understand why you guys are like i was there like i, I don't know what y'all are talking about but none of this went down like this i've been around keisha and jeremy everybody's like like hazel i was around them he's never talked like this to keisha this man got down on his knee for me what are you talking about as if a man love for you validates you as a person. But you had your whole friend out here running her mouth. I was around. You must, you obviously you couldn't read the room to see what it was really about. But no one had no problem with that. No one had any problem with her friends and her people and her strangers on the internet talking out against me. But D speaking out, how dare she have someone speaking on the internet on her behalf against her? How dare she have someone bullying? How dare she? How dare she? How dare she? You guys know how insane that sounds? You guys just want me to be in a corner someone crying somewhere. You guys didn't want D to, to speak out because D had nothing to lose. You guys couldn't call D's job and get her fired. You like, y'all, like how y'all told my friends. Y'all couldn't talk about D's features and she felt insecure. Y'all couldn't do anything to her that D could not stand 10 toes down and continue to defend what was right. Have some of her lives been a lot of, how can I say this? Uncomfortable for some people to hear? Absolutely. But the hate and the slander that I endured was un uncomfortable for me to bear. The police come into my home, the child protective service come into my home, looking at my children in the middle of a pandemic when there's nothing wrong with them. That was uncomfortable for me to deal with. You guys don't get that, do you? And now all this hoopla because Martin said he's making a video about the situation and you guys know Martin's fair. You guys know he's finding facts. So y'all don't want him to talk because anybody who speaks fair against me or for me or whatever it is, it's the end of the world for you guys. It's the end of the world. Uh-uh. It's the end of the world. Jordan, what's that? Let me see. Now, give it to me. Silly silly. Thank you. Anyone who speaks out, y'all know what y'all do. Y'all haven't even given D a fair, a fair chance to just defend her friend. And to be honest, half this stuff that has happened would not have even probably happened had D not been as solid as she's been and kept me grounded. Because I would have just let this stay under the rug like I've done in the past with a lot of other situations and just take it. Like, okay, 
It is what it is. I'm not like, I, I can't do nothing about it. But no, D reminded me who the F I was and I woke up real quick and said, no, I'm a mother. I have to protect my children. With me doing nothing, that means I'm not protecting my children. You better not have, let me see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see those shoes. This is not a drag session. No one said no, no one is being drugged. No single parents are being drugged. Like I said, y'all like to just run with anything. And y'all are very telling of the type of people y'all are based off the comments. And the man hasn't even said a word. He hasn't said a word and y'all already hot and bothered saying, how dare you drag a single, like shut the hell up. Y'all wanted her to be a single mom. Y'all told her to be a single mom. Y'all paid her to be a single mom. Y'all said, we're going to give you money to not bring your child to his father because we want you to be a single mama. We want you to be a single bitter baby mama like us. That's exactly essentially what y'all said to her. So don't now sit here and say she's a single mom because at any given moment, he's more than welcome to, to be with his father. Now, if he breaks up with me or we break up with one another, y'all went, oh, go take him over there to um Jeremy now. He's not around that monster. And y'all know damn well I'm not no monster. I would never hurt a child. I would never hurt anybody. I don't have any malicious bone in my body. To the point that there is so much stuff that I sent Martin that, you know, me, like I said, I sent it for validity of my and credibility of myself. But he knows the things to, to, to show and share and the things not to show and share. If I wanted to be a monster, I could have been that. I wouldn't need D to do it. Because who y'all really want is me. Essentially. A lot of you guys stopped supporting because you all felt like Keisha, she, well, some people said Keisha's not standing up for herself. And then when I stood up for myself and did Kevember and told a whole bunch of truths, Keisha, this is old. Leave this alone. No, I left it alone. Not only, like I said, I, I was telling y'all the story of what happened when I was talking to Paris. Talked to Paris, made an agreement with Paris. Paris broke the agreement. Talked to Paris again weeks later for another two and a half hours. Paris is back to the Oh, Keisha. Oh, Keisha. Da, 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 da. I'm like, and I told Paris, I said, Paris, let me tell you something. I was a political science minor, so maybe you just need to be schooled a little bit. But if you knowingly have a, a platform and you know, and it can be proven that the people who follow you have a vendetta or evil intentions against somebody, and you openly and willingly give people instructions to do damaging things to that person unlawfully you will be held accountable well if i didn't be the one to specifically do it then how can i be in trouble and i said paris you need to save yourself because none of these people are going to be there to catch you when you fall now i'm giving you an opportunity to just delete the videos leave me alone leave my children alone just save yourself but you got too invested into somebody else's baby daddy, baby mama drama. You ain't never going to meet the baby. You're never going to meet the baby. Yeah, I don't understand the involvement you have with, with, with this. You think that someone is your friend. They're not your friend. They're using you. That's not a friend. A friend is not someone. I don't have friends who talk about August. You're talking about my children. So, I mean, if she considers you to be a friend, that's just more telling about how she how she is as a person. So really, who's the bad person, as y'all like to say? Like I said, I have said things that were not in favor of her. So I'm not saying I've never said anything. All those receipts I sent to Martin because I, I'm not ashamed of who I am. I'm not ashamed to say this is what I did and this is why I did it, though. So you can't say, oh, go find us. Oh, we got that. I sent him everything. I sent him everything. This is what I said. Yep, I did it. This is my name. This is my profile. I did it. Because you guys were literally dragging me for filth and were leading a hate train against me, and I had to defend myself. I don't know anyone else who be sitting here praising a woman who slept with their boyfriend. I wasn't online praising Jeremy, so don't make it seem like, oh, I was just praising Jeremy for his involvement. I, I knew who, who was the most accountable for the situation. I didn't lose sight of that. But I also didn't think it was the Internet's place or for my place to come to the Internet 
hashing things out with strangers amongst the world. It, does, it doesn't work like that. Because I knew when I turned this computer off, what I just do on this internet is going to be consequential to my children. I know that. So when Jeremy and her made an agreement and said that she didn't want to be discussed on, because she, her and her friend were going crazy until D came. Then it was like, oh, somebody better come tell the truth. We better, you know, so they took their tails in. We ain't hear from them for a while. Then they stopped being friends. Oh, go figure. Then they weren't friends no more. Okay. Then we found out why they weren't friends no more. Then she didn't want D talking about her in any kind of light. You all say you're telling your friends her personal business. And yet her friend is repeating things about my household or things she knows about, thinks about my household that only she could have told her. Make it make sense. Y'all see what I'm talking about with the double standards? Who don't tell their homegirl tea that's going on in their life? Because I do. I'm human. I tell my friends tea. I do. I'm not ashamed to say that. If there's mistakes I make in life, I learn from my mistakes and I change my behavior. And I hold and I and I take accountability for the wrong things that I do. But like I said, they made an agreement. And like Jeremy said, look, that Paris person, oh, you need to cut that off. Because they disrespected me. They disrespecting my children. I know you don't care about the disrespect to Keisha, but they disrespecting me and they disrespecting my children and I'm not going to go for that. So that was the agreement. So I personally told my friend, hey, I don't know. At that point, it wasn't even that many videos, but I said, hey, moving forward, don't talk about her. I know we feel our passion. I know we feel our frustration, but more importantly than anything, more important than me getting vengeance on the internet I want my children to have a relationship with their brother and I want Jeremy to be able to have a relationship with his son. That's what's most important to me. So just don't talk about her. So she didn't. D didn't. And I know that to be fact. Because I was started watching the lives intently to make sure. So I can check my friend if my friend was in the wrong. And she didn't talk about her. Next thing you know, fast forward a few months. Paris is on live again. So... I was texting Ashley and Ashley told me that the baby is at Mama Postel's house and, you know, Keisha's not allowed over there. How the f*** you going to sit here and tell me I'm not allowed? Am I, are you, have, do y'all hear what I'm saying right now? This whole was on the internet telling me I shouldn't be allowed and Ashley's telling, are you crazy? Do y'all hear what I'm, like, Y'all really trying to isolate me so bad from this boy's family, from this boy's son. And I was not the one who slept and laid down. I was not the one who willingly knew he was in, he had a situation going on and I just stuck around for it. Look at you. No, don't try to smile. You sleep, girl. Fake self. You trying to go, you fighting your sleep. But y'all, but Paris got online. Ashley told me. <laughs> I got the inside scoop. Y'all remember those videos because y'all was laughing at them. Remember? <laughs> y'all was remember y'all was all sitting up there laughing, saying, Yeah, yeah, Ashley knows what's good for her. I wouldn't want my child around that monster either. Y'all remember that? Yeah, we all was laughing. Well, not me. Not my children. And not his father. That that's not funny. It was never funny. But all thousands and thousands and thousands of y'all who were in that 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 chat. We're thinking, we're getting a kick out of it. This is this boy's whole life. Imagine when he gets older and finds out that y'all was playing and chopping and screwing with his whole childhood. All because of a, a woman. Like what? I couldn't do what with my daddy because of what? Um, Journey and Jaya. Don't play. Jor. I'm about to, you about to, Jor. Jor. Ma'am. Hello, Jor. You who? Get down. Don't get on that glass like that, baby. No, ma'am. 
Yeah, lay down. She just want to be by me. Y'all were, Paris, you were literally telling his mother, hey, Mama Pastel, you know, Ashley doesn't want Keisha to be around a baby. So make sure y'all enforce that. To the point where the baby was over his mom's house for six weeks. Y'all was pretty much essentially saying she needs to drop her kids off to spend time with August and, and Jeremy should be there with August and Ashley and Keisha. You shouldn't have no parts of none of this. And I didn't come to the internet. I didn't say anything. I just watched all this madness unfold and kept enduring low blow after low. Like the investment in the situation just was getting the best of Paris. But you were mad when D came forward and said, hey, Paris, was this you on your yearbook? This is an invasion of privacy. This is this. This is that. Well, you don't think calling my boyfriend's mother was an invasion of privacy. You don't think having conversations, sidebar conversations with my boyfriend's mother about me, like you know me. First of all, you told his mother we were friends. And then you try to, because that's when I talked to his mom, she was like, Paris said y'all were friends and I thought y'all just had like a little falling out. What? This is, this is what's really sad because like I said, it will be so different if Paris was doing these things and homegirl was like, you know, I'm good on this. Like, I really want the best for, for my son and you're not the best for that. You're, keep, you're making me have toxic relationships with his father and all that. But let, let's be clear. When they had a conversation, that's when she wanted me to be in the day. Oh, she's not, she's not, she's not a part of this. She's not his nothing. She's this, she's nothing to him. But then when you talk to Jeremy, oh, but make sure you tell Keisha to make sure she tell her friend not to talk about me no more. Okay. Like I said, Jeremy came and talked to me and I and I did that. I made sure, like, hey, look, on um, Jory, I can see out the corner of my eye. And then, like I said, before you knew it, it was only within a few weeks that Paris was saying. Hey, I talked to Ashley. She gave me this tea. George, down. Careful. And was regurgitating things that were going on in my boyfriend's family's household that is none of the world's business. That's harassment. You try to say, well, his mom called me. Yes, baby. Mm -mm. I want you to put that chain down. And why you got that on your um ankle? Huh? That's not. You thought this was an ankle bracelet? Uh, uh don't give it to Jory either. No. No. Mm mm. No. No, she don't, she ain't gonna get it. No. Jory. <laughs> Jory, it can't just zap on your ankle. Uh-uh, you're not going to watch that TV. Uh-uh, because I hear Journey's little feet trying to come out here too. Night-night. Uh-uh, go take the elephant back. Journey be bringing this elephant everywhere, y'all. Bed. Okay, let me help y'all. Come on. Jory, you and your little feet? Y'all, when, when we get to this new house, oh, 
I'm closing the door and I'm locking it and I'm throwing away the key. <laughs> Jory, I'm, I'm just playing y'all. I'm probably gonna be crying when Jory's not sleeping in the room with me. Yes, I always got a blanket nearby. But yes, y'all, I, I just wanted to come and share partially what I have endured. And I'm so thankful that I continued to stay faithful in the Lord and just knew that he would see me at the end of this. And that hopefully a lot of other people can learn a lot from this to just be mindful of the internet. Be mindful of the dangers. Oops, sorry, y'all. Be mindful of the dangers of the internet. And just be mindful of how you treat people. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but what I'm saying is the narrative that people try to paint about me, the things that people try to say about me are false. They're false. And when Martin sheds light on the bullying, the harassment I've endured, I, I know he said this is going to be serious. I told him, if you do this video, it has to be on a serious note. Because this is serious to me. I've been literally fighting for my freaking life this last year. I had to take a whole year out of my life to deal with this. And I'm still dealing with it. I'm still dealing with it. People think, people feel like it's okay for them to make all these videos and say all these defamatory things. And then when I take action against them... Oh, you could have called me. You could have you could have reached out to me. We could have talked about this. You wasn't willing to talk when you was running with those false narratives. Everybody thought it was about a check. Everyone who laughs, they're like, "Oh, it's about the check. Oh, you can you can make plenty of money off YouTube if you like." Some people who 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 loved me at one point, but then they just only switched tunes because they saw if I show I hate her. Then I get even more support. So I'm just going to change my tune. Yeah, she was wrong with what she did with her. Uh-huh. Yeah, she called her a side woman and that was so wrong. Yeah, she's like, come on now. Have a mind of y'all own. Stand for something. Like, you have to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. And y'all literally, it doesn't even make any logical sense as to anybody on the street when you hear this situation. So it was, I'm just going to say the, the general portion of the situation so there was this boy who was in a relationship with his woman she was pregnant with twins and he he was start he started lusting he was they, they decided it was gonna break away there was a girl he got involved with during this time and you know it was a sexual relationship he had sexual relationships with um her several other people and then by the time you know the, the, the babies actually finally came he started settling down trying to get his stuff together with his girlfriend his girlfriend and him they couldn't really get their stuff together because the girlfriend really was not over the lust that he had while she was pregnant with the twins so she retaliated by kind of like shutting him out emotionally sexually physically all of that um and it kind of took a toll on him and instead of him figuring out a way to respectfully and maturely handle the situation with the girl he loved he started to go back on past terrible actions. And he ended up having sexual intercourse with a woman. The condom broke, a child came. And the woman finds out about the baby. When she finds out about the baby, she willing to sit down with the woman, sits down with the woman, makes a, a plan that's on, in the best interest of everyone involved, not just herself, not just her brand, not just her children, but everyone involved. And comes to her platform to be honest enough to say, hey, there's something I endure. This has been hard, but I'm trying to see the end of the light. Me and my boyfriend have been in counseling. We're at a better place. We're going to move forward. And the whole internet decides to drag the girlfriend. The end. Come on now. It doesn't even make sense. It makes no sense. What's my sister? Hold on, y'all. My sister keeps texting me. Oh, she's texting me about trips. And it's talking about my mama. It doesn't make sense. Jeremy had the ultimate loyalty to me. But just as much as you all say, I should have loyalty to myself to know what my standards are and not fall for a man and blah, 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 blah. 
this is not a man who I just found while he was already dealing with a woman and had a situation going on. And I decided to just stick around and figure out what happened and then get myself caught up. This is a man who I was in a whole serious relationship with, had no red flags of infidelity prior to the pregnancy, none whatsoever. Known since high school, so have a personal relationship with him, personal history with him. <laughs> you gotta go to sleep, Jory. Night, night. You just yawning, walking around, girl. You, you ain't well. You're like, a, you're about to fall, up, fall out. Jory. Night, night. I'm gonna come to bed with you. Y'all, my I can't be on here too much longer. My baby is not. I can't, I haven't even read the chat. Not even to mention when Jeremy spoke out his truth, people drug him. Oh, how dare you comfort, comfort, da, 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 da. But they've been talking to his DMs about his daughters for as long as they've been born, calling his daughter slow and all these other things. Yes, Paris, you allow people to call into your live and call my child down syndrome and say that she had something wrong with her. Y'all heard her whole teacher say that I'm a great mother, that I do my job as her mother to ensure that her speech is developing. And she's at a, she's doing great and excelling exceptionally, but no credit has been given for any of that. Not that I need a pat on my back from the world, because every time I say something about like even last time when I said you all could just say congratulations for the house. Oh, she just feel like somebody got to congratulate her. Y'all are missing the point. If you're going to have energy hating me and then say it's not really hate, then show me that it's not really hate that when I do do something that is clearly a good thing. Even when I just hosted my marketing webinar, the first one, I had, when I tell you, the comments were 10 out of 10. I, everyone loved my marketing webinar. And then I realized afterwards, damn, I should have made this thing $500 as much as information. As hard as I worked, as much as information. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm like, damn, I gave y'all a whole book, a whole professional, and myself. Like, I gave a lot of information. If that marketing webinar, people are going to excel exceptionally with their businesses. But no one wants to speak about that. No one wants to talk about the good things. And on my platform, that's all I try to do is just live my life. That's all I try to do is just live my life. I don't, I don't want to no. be going tit for tat about a woman or, or anybody for that matter. My friends, let's bring up my friends. Y'all like y'all go to my friends' comments. Like Asia and Ashley have YouTube channels. Y'all in their comments, any little thing they say, oh, she they're throwing shade at Keisha. No, they're not. My friends love me. My friends love me. Anything people do around me, oh, they they didn't really like Keisha. Keisha was doing who they, oh, they were all talking about Keisha. Keisha, 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 Keisha. Like y'all go find my friends and talk, and talk about me. Y'all bring me up no matter what. Y'all bring me up. That's called harassment. And like I said, half of y'all who are doing it, y'all were blocked in 2016, 27. Careful, baby. That's why you shouldn't have did it. <laughs> like y'all were blocked. It's really unfortunate. Every, even when I was, we would we did um um girls like us TV video after video after video after video y'all literally talk bad about me. There's one man on a panel, and we're not gonna say any names, but she's the one whose boyfriend just had a whole baby outside her relationship, and she's not a credible person to be on this platform. Oh, this person's life is in shambles, so they shouldn't even be on this platform talking about this. Oh, this, like, y'all literally drug me. Anything I'm a part of, y'all drag me, y'all talk about me, y'all, and then y'all get mad if I defend myself. And then say, it's not hate. Keisha's the crazy one. Keisha's the wrong one. And y'all just need to be able to own, like, y'all have put yourselves, y'all wake up effortlessly every single day and y'all look forward to being a part of this because there's something missing in y'all that y'all have y'all love being a part of this Keisha hate group because these are the only real friends y'all got y'all say y'all want my channel to to, to um not succeed and y'all don't want me to get any blessing or if I even if I do get a like even with the Skittles opportunity that was a great opportunity for me what are y'all talking about She's doing things for attention. What are you talking about? What are you talking, doing what for attention? Being a part of a magazine? Like 
I can't let the, the internet run me away from opportunities because I'm like, okay, if I go be a part of the opportunity, I know they're going to. So now I got to give people disclaimers and brief them about stuff. But thank God, these other people who are a part of this are all influencers. So they're not going for none of that bull ish that y'all would try to do. See, random neighbors and stuff like that who may not know about YouTube may not get it. But people like Skittles and the, the wonderful women who are part of this opportunity, I don't really got to school them. Jory, leave them alone. Come here, Jory. What time is it? Jory! It's 11 o'clock, baby. <laughs> like, I work hard for everything that I have, and the only thing I do is work hard so I can provide for my children. So the disgusting thing y'all did was going and running to brands, and she doesn't have a brand deal anymore. Like, y'all clocking what I'm doing to, to do what? Huh, baby? So. You want Jory in her crib? Why? She bothering you? She gonna, you want her to get out? Give her a hug and tell her you love her. Yes, bullying, Reese, you said, I couldn't have said it better myself. Bullying and slander is unlawful. So don't, when, when consequences happen to parents, don't say, oh, Keisha probably told you to this and that. Like, y'all be thinking, like, I got to pay somebody to, to, to have common sense. Y'all think I paid the investigation team of YouTube to, um... To see things for what they oh you bringing joy to her bed try to got out of bed and walking joy back here talk about oh she getting out here one way or another you put her in the bed joy is something else and she's like get in this bed <laughs> but so now y'all probably gonna say she paid martin to harass somebody like i said my intentions i didn't go to him to say Hey, I need you to talk about this girl and she slept with my man and I'm mad. No, I went to him about bullying, harassment, trolls. And once he started trying to figure out well, what caused all of this and what's going on, like where did this stem from? Like there has to be a reason where this came from. And I'm like, well, here's some examples of things they've done over the years. But as of recently, this is the thing that they're holding on to and they can't let it go. Y'all will not let it go for nothing in the world. Y'all want to hold on to this till y'all can't. Y'all are literally holding on to this by the skin of your teeth. And it didn't even have to be this way. They could have been respectfully co-parenting the right way. They could have been doing it. But now y'all get it so, to the point where you have someone bashing the hell out of me out of my children so bad and letting another grown man do that. I can't respect somebody like that. Now I can't trust you around my kids. Even come in and just drop your child off because it's like, what? You think I'm gonna let you come around my kids and you just sat beside virtually on the internet and just was quiet while they was talking about my kids. And then parents like to say, I didn't do that. I didn't say those things. Well, YouTube got the sound bites and they think otherwise. They heard it. Just like, are you living in delusion? Like y'all all say, Paris never, this is, the, I saw this the other day. Paris never came for Keisha's brand deals or told anybody to reach out to her brand deals. Well, guess what? A few days ago, got a message from YouTube and that video too was removed for harassment and bullying. So stop saying things that are not true. Stop saying things that are not true. Not only, they didn't just look at the title, they're watching the video, seeing the chat, looking at the description, looking at the community post. Jory said, I'm back out. Jory, Jory said, you're not about to, Jory, girl, you about to run yourself and fall, honey. Cause you so sleepy, you can't even keep your head up. Your head, your neck bring you down. <laughs> and I'm like, thank you, God. Like, thank you. 
I knew, I mean, they've been doing this investigation. I know people are like, oh, she's only doing this now because of Cardi B. No, before Cardi B, I didn't know Cardi B was going to trial. When Cardi B was going to trial, nothing about any of that. This investigation started way before, way last year. It just took them a long time because one, these lives are three hours long. And if you tally up three hours times 89 videos and the person is still making videos and still making videos and still making videos, you're like, damn. Like all of them are in the, in the damn chambers, like sweating like a sweatshop, keeping up with the things that Paris is doing next. And y'all the ones who told y'all y'all friend to keep doing it. That's not right. That's not cool. And you don't ever have to own what you did and say you were sorry because at this point I'm good on a I'm good on apologies because it, it won't be it will not be genuine. So I don't need the fake love. I don't need the fake sorries. I, you did not care. You didn't care when I talked to you the first time and I made the agreement with you. You didn't care when I talked to you the second time and I also made another agreement. The second time we talked, we also made another agreement. And then you come online and you try to make it seem like, oh, she was saying save yourself because she was trying to blame something on Trolletta. What? Shut up. You just, just be making up anything like you've been doing with the storyline. Jor. You can't, you can't even take it. You can't even take it, baby. Huh? You love mommy? <laughs> you see? Uh. See, Jory feisty too, y'all. She'll pop me in my face if I... Jory, can you go get your diaper? <laughs> ah, don't press. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I got you. <laughs> Jory, I want you to go get your diaper. Come on, Jory. 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 Okay, hold on. Let me get your diaper for you. Okay. Love you. Y'all, the girls were never, well, maybe because they was out the room by six months. <laughs> oh. I'm about, I ain't about to be on here too much longer anyways. Y'all know I like to do two-hour lives and then be done. But um, it, it has been really, really hard, y'all. And like I said, overall, I'm just so grateful for the people who have stayed true and supported me and uh, have just continued to send me encouragement because it's been hard. Like I said, I'm in counseling. I'm still in counseling, dealing with the aftermath of dealing with this trauma. Um, I'm still, you know, I'm trying, like, like I said, you all disrupted, Paris specifically disrupted my, my life by the actions that they took, by getting too involved and too invested into my personal affairs. You guys are too invested with Jeremy. 
too invested with Jeremy. You literally defamed him by saying when we bought the home that he was in there. And Mama. night, night. I'm trying not to make sure I don't get the reactors mixed up because, you know, a lot of people want to speak on the house. Um, a trap house. And that he was having a party. It's just disgusting. Just disgusting. For what? To create, to keep up the same narrative that you all have. Like, it's like, would it be happy if me and Jeremy, will you all be okay with me if me and Jeremy break up? Will you all stop hating me then? Or will the hate continue? Me and Jeremy's relationship isn't 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 even on YouTube. Our anniversary just passed. The only thing y'all saw was us freaking, I just showed an appetizer and an entree. Like, you all don't even know anything about our relationship. Y'all haven't even seen him truthfully on the platform in so long. Y'all, all y'all do is stalk and harass every move he makes. Think y'all think y'all know what y'all talking about. Make a presumption. Come bring it to the internet. Like I said, y'all in Martin's comments saying he was just with another woman. When? Y'all, you know I mean? somebody's in my DM talking about what well, I watch all your videos and I've never seen that couch or I've never seen that bed. It y'all really think that I show y'all everything we got after knowing what y'all do when we show any little thing? But y'all all in his comments trying to create this narrative that what he is and what he's doing and how he's moving and all these different things. But no one has ever held her accountable for the things that she has done wrong or said wrong. No one has said, well, ultimately, you know, it's in your best interest to make sure you figure out some type of way to co-parent with him. No one has given that advice. No one has said she should try to work out co-parenting with him. It's all because of the obsession you guys have with me. I don't have a problem with people who make videos commenting on my life if it's not in favor of me. Like I said, half the time, I don't even see the videos. I don't even see the what I don't even I don't watch the videos. Y'all could be talking to me until you blue in the face. I don't, I won't see it. But Paris brought attention to, to Paris's platform when you went on for as long as you did. And then the, the things that you did with it. Like I said, sending people to my Instagram platform and my children's Instagram platform. The day the reckoning came out, you sent all your followers to my daughter's platform and had everybody commenting under Jory's platform, calling her a flathead baby. You all had everybody coming to you, Paris, had everyone coming to Journey and Jaya's Instagram saying that one of y'all are slow. And I had those receipts. As a mother, I had to endure that. As a mother, I had to listen to your live videos while talking to my attorney with the earphones in my ear because the things you were saying were so disgusting and my children were in the room with me. Jory slept in the room as a co-sleeping as a baby. And Journey and Jaya were in the room. I'll never forget this night. We were all in the room. Jeremy, me, Journey, Jaya, all, all, the whole family. And I had to literally put the earphones. I couldn't even leave out the room because the girls wanted me to be in the room. So I had to figure out a way to handle this legal stuff that I had going on and put the earphones and hear this person screaming while looking up at my children where they're not even understanding what's going on with tears flowing down my eyes because I'm like, this person is so disgusting. And I got to be keep a brave face on for my children. Like, and you didn't, you didn't care nothing about that. Oh, I deserve it because of what again? Like I said, what Brilliant Bree did was very wrong. I, let's just be clear in case I forgot to say this. When me and Brilliant Bree had a conversation, I sent a picture to Brilliant Bree of my daughters in August in the house. August was not the focal point for one. For two, they had already found her platform. She already was on Instagram. She already was doing Q&As with him. She was already a public figure at this point. He was not hidden. He was not secretive. He was not nothing. Everybody here knew who he was. But the same people who said she was so disgusting for sending Brilliant Brie. And I sent, let's, I, let me, let's give context. I only sent the picture because everybody was um, 
seeing here when she made that video, everybody was like, Yeah, she look, Keisha's a liar, Keisha's a liar. Keisha said that the baby was over there, and the mom just said that she'll never have that baby over there with her. And I'm like, hey, Brie and Brie, what's this look like to you? But don't send this picture or show this picture. Because I watched Martin, and I know I've seen how Martin works. Martin, I've heard with my own two ears of Martin saying, Jory, bed, I got to get strict with you now. Bed. Mm -mm. Turn it back around. Night, night. I've seen Martin say, I've talked to such and such, and I can't show you guys the receipt, but I'm telling you I've seen it, and this is what it was. And I gave them my word that I won't actually show it. I've seen Martin do this years ago. So... I guess everybody's not like Martin. Guess I had to figure out the hard way. But that conversation I had with Brilliant Bree was in October. Yay! Not only was it in October, Brilliant Bree, but you went and told um, the other party that I had reached out to you and several other reactors to try to drag her on the internet. What are you? You you lied. You lied, Brilliant Bree. I told you not to show the video. The only thing I said is I wanted you to just say, hey, I've actually seen, yes, he was over there. Like I said, the baby was not hidden at that point. He has two parents, not one. She's not the only parent. Just like they have two parents, not one. He gets to make decisions just as much as I get to make decisions. Hey, moms out there in the world, you got to understand that when you're just because we hold the babies as hard as it may be for us to understand, unless the father is literally just not a good fit for the children, it's always 50-50. And that's just how I, I maneuver. And like I said, we got into detail about um, my sentiments and I just started venting about like how frustrated I was and stuff like that. It wasn't like a bad session, like go to the internet with this and go to the internet with that. I was just venting because she was talking about her situation and things that she had went through and she could relate. And then she also followed up. The last thing she said to me was, um, the last thing she said to me was, People can have the whole truth and they're still going to run with what they want to know. I mean, what they want to run, what they want to run with. So brilliant Bree, yeah. you had the whole truth. And for the sake of clout and money, yeah. you ran with what you yeah. wanted to run with. Yeah. So much that when Martin just reached out to you a few weeks ago mama, mama. to try to get your side of the situation, you yeah. told him you wanted no more. This is what's in Martin's video, not just what I'm saying. Like, I didn't know nothing about this until Martin put out his video. But you, he reached out to you to get your side of the story because he wants everybody's side. And you say, I don't want no parts of this. I don't want no parts of this no more. Of course you don't. Of course you don't want no more parts of it because of all those unsent messages you had. Of course you don't want no parts of it. So much so that you go run to the number one person who you know is trolling me on the internet and harassing me on the internet to go tell them, oh, look, sis, I got some tea. You're part of the problem too, Brilliant Brie. And it also is very illegal, in case you didn't know. It's very illegal for someone to tell you not to um, send information or... Uh, door, night, night. You fight this? No, 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 no. It's, it's unlawful for you to send information, sensitive information like that with ill intentions brilliant brie so i'm just saying i'm just saying it is unlawful to do that and i even with the i know everybody wants to talk about the whole s word so let's be clear the person who i was communicating about was on the internet calling me all kinds of everything Everything but a child of God. And, and actually, they said ungodly. And I'm a liar. And I'm this. And I'm that. Was threatening to come on the internet. Was threatening to come tell the truth. Was calling me, like, for a while, just talking crazy about me. So in that moment, I vented about something because I'm like, you're letting all these people talk about me in this demeaning way, but you have your own skeletons, too. But what I, what I did do was I apologized about even discussing that with someone. And I still, to this moment, stand by that apology. Because unlike some people, I learned from my mistakes. Unlike some people, I can be told, okay, you shouldn't have did it that way. 
moving forward, don't do it that way. And I've learned from that. So I'm terribly and truly sorry for even speaking about that. But when Brilliant Bree came and brought the information to you guys, instead of you directly coming to me to say, hey, let me have a conversation with you. Let's not speak. You decided to go to the Internet and tell the world this is what she said about me. You brought your own business to the Internet and then y'all want to blame me for how it got to the Internet. You didn't have to come and read anything. Brilliant Bree, you didn't have to go send anything because also I said, Brilliant Bree, don't like I'm telling you this stuff. I'm bending to you, though. Like, don't share this. This is between me and you. And what did y'all say? No, she had ill intentions to come. And she, and then Brie and Brie, what'd you say? She went to other reactors to tell them, no, but you can't produce not one reactor yet. We still waiting for the reactors I went to and told them to go do this or talk about that. Like, I really felt like, whew, thank God somebody, you know, has my back and, and sees things for what they are after I talked to you, after I was dealing with my depression. And after you said you resonated with me and you empathized with me, I really cried. And, and like, even while I was messaging you, this is, you you don't know this, but I was crying the whole time while I was messaging I was going through postpartum depression. So I was really emotional. Like I said, it does not excuse what I did. And that's why I take accountability for what I did and talking about that. But I also did tell Brie and Brie, don't speak on this. Like I was crying, like every, the whole world is on my back about a woman who slept with my man. I'm like, what in the hell? What is going on? Like I've seen other YouTubers get cheated on and not one woman has, not one side woman has been put on this pedestal, but mine. My, the one who was a part of my situation. <laughs> Thank you, Jory. You always making mommy pretty. Thank you. You gonna do yours too. Go, Jory. Looking good, girl. You so pretty, girl. You so pretty, Jory. And it's like, when the, the reckoning came out in January, the conversation I had, when they said we had something, I didn't even know the reckoning was coming out. I just know... I can't recall how it all went down because it's so fuzzy. I, 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 I don't remember, but I, ah. I just remember, I think people were messaging me saying, did you do something? Oh. It's about to come out, blah, 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 blah. It's like you wanted it to come out. You wanted to continue to feel like you were the victim knowing you did the unthinkable to another woman. But no one cared when you got online and you mocked me fainting while pregnant. No, everybody laughed in the comments. People doxed my address in the same video. People talked about my children in the same video. Her children are never going to be as pretty as your son is handsome. Stuff like that. She's jealous of you. She's this. She's that. Like you literally acted like you had Tourette when I fainted. You did this for the world to see. I had a private conversation that you could have privately handled with me. I'm saying it does not take away from what I said, but you could have handled it differently. Two wrongs don't make a right. Because when you did the things that you did, I picked up my phone and I directed my anger towards you. I didn't get on the internet and open up my computer and start going for the juggler. Because I could have went, I could have took it there. There's a lot of things that I had and I still to this day have not even repeated. So that's why I feel the, 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 the pain that I felt with Brie and Brie because it's like, Brie and Brie, you were wrong. You were wrong. I didn't look at Brilliant Bree as a reactor. Hell, is Brilliant Bree a reactor? Is she? I don't even to this day, I don't even know. I never, I still have not seen Brilliant Bree's channel. Is she a reactor, y'all? Or did she just make a because some people just made a video and they don't have like a reactor channel? Like they just made a video about the drama. So is she is Brilliant Bree a reactor? But either way it goes, I thought it was just somebody who I was who who watched me, who knew my character. And, and really could call the BS out. Because Brie and Brie, was, she slept with your man and she mad. No, 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 But then you're going to go, oh, look. You're going to unsend everything you sent to me and then say, look, this is what she said. You didn't even say foul on the play. When you saw everything that happened after that day of reckoning all because of what you you gave them, you never said foul on the play. You know, let, let, let me reach out to Keisha and say sorry. Like, I just can't, I really can't, Brie and Brie, the thing, another reason why I can't respect you is because, and I can pull up the receipts, but I don't got time. But after me and Brie and Brie had that conversation in October, I remember in November, I had like an incident happen with my shift. And I remember Brie and Brie reaching out to me, trying to talk to me. Hey girl, let me check in. I'm trying to get my side of the story, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, but you sitting here kicking it like, I felt so passionate about this situation. I just had to come tell you. I just didn't care for her after this and this, that, and the third. No. 
You realized that people was making money off hating me, Brilliant Bree. So that's why you decided to provide these receipts, Brilliant Bree. Other than that, other than the receipts Brilliant Bree had, no one had nothing against me. Nothing. Y'all used this and y'all and y'all went to my brands as if I came on the internet and I literally drugged someone. But mind you, these are the same people, like I said, y'all said in that, in, that, in that video, how dare she send pictures of your son? Y'all been on, 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 on all these platforms for years while my children had tubes in their noses in the NICU posting and exploiting pictures saying that there was pictures and videos of me holding my children's nose uh, and, and feeding tubes while they were in a hospital saying that I was trying to murder my children while they were in a hospital. Y'all have my children's pictures as y'all avatar until Lipstick Alley just says y'all can't do that anymore. But on, on Paris's private discord, y'all still have my children's names as y'all profile names. Y'all still post pictures of my children. Paris, you came on your platform and said, hey, if you go to this video and go to 10 minutes and two seconds, you all can see us a little portion of Journey's Heine. But I was wrong for sending proof that I was not lying about a baby being in my house. Make it make sense. That's what I'm talking about with the double standards of the situation. So give me one justification as to why y'all feel like it's okay to have my children's pictures. Oh, because I'm a public figure? <laughs> That's why? Y'all y'all feel like everything y'all do is okay. Y'all can justify everything I say that y'all do. Oh, we have a good comeback as to why we got to do that. Y'all y'all been posting pictures of my children for years. To this day, y'all still post pictures of my children. And you mad because I sent this, the baby was not hidden, innocent or anything. Like, I mean, not innocent, but he was not hidden and like a, 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 a secret baby or something like that. Y'all already have found him. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. Blah, 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 blah. Like, y'all already have found him. Bree and Bree already seen the baby. So I wasn't showing Bree and Bree some exclusive news. I was just showing my children with their brother. But y'all don't want Martin to come forward and tell the real facts, the real order of operations with the real dates, the real receipts. Y'all want y'all narrative to be spun so badly like Keisha just did something so terrible, so god awful. Y'all really tried to convince the world that I have hurt this woman so bad and I just did. Like y'all really have painted this picture like they were in a relationship and I came and I took and I'm paying him to stay with me. And like y'all can't even just deal with the fact that he said he wants to be with me. Like what? What? Like, like y'all want to? Y'all, like y'all try so hard. She's so ugly. Where? I was on live last night with a filter, and they were like, "Take the filter off. You have craters on your skin." I'm on live every time on YouTube with no filter. I'm not ashamed of how I look. A man is not gonna not cheat on you because of how you look. Do you get that? Jeremy didn't cheat on me because of me. If Jeremy based his actions based off how I look and how I act, I would have never gotten cheated on because I know I'm a bad bitch. And secondly, more importantly, I am a good quality woman. I am a great girlfriend, a great supportive partner, a great mother, and a great asset to any man. I will be a great asset to any man. My resume is amazing. I'm a, I'm a Spelman graduate. I graduated with Latin honors from the number one HBCU. I have several businesses, several LLCs. When January 1st hit, the Georgia, Georgia um, State emailed several LLCs that my name is a part of. I run these businesses day in and day out off my own name, off my own hard work. I'm a great, loyal, supportive friend family member. I retired my mother so that she didn't want to show so she didn't have to endure stories with those toys. So I'm going to let her play just, just keeping her distracted. I don't even really have to give a resume. But what I want y'all to understand is a man ain't going to stay loyal to you because of your looks. Beyonce, if y'all think, Beyonce, I know a lot of people say Beyonce is the prettiest woman or whatever people say about Beyonce. And people always love to say, well, Beyonce got cheated on. Like, 
A man is not staying loyal to you because of your looks. It's not about you when a man cheats, but everybody made it about me. He cheated because Keisha's so ugly and that's not his type. Y'all told this man what his type was. To this day, y'all stalk this man to see who he follows and who he likes and what pictures he liking and who's this and who's that to tell my own boyfriend what his type is. Y'all call me, y'all, y'all body shame me. Y'all call me skinny. Her friend body shamed the hell out of me every time she came on the camera. Every time she came on the camera, she body shamed me. Every single time. Every time. Paris, you have your whole secret discord is called wig. You, that's me. You're shaming my appearance. You're saying I'm not pretty enough to be loved. A lot of you guys equate love to looks, and you're highly mistaken. You guys tried to pit me against another woman because most of you guys, call like I said, thought lighter meant better. Let's just be real. Let's be real. A lot of y'all thought lighter meant better. A lot of y'all think that he only wants a lighter woman. Let's be real. I see the things you all privately send to me in my, my DMs to remind me every day that I'm not good enough. Paris, you played a song on your channel by none other than the baby's baby mama, Danny Lee. I think that's her name. Danny Lee, isn't it? And what was that song? What is it? Um, Yellow Bone is what he wants. Paris, you played that on your platform because you wanted to say that Jeremy wanted a yellow bone girl over the girl that he's with. You you told your platform that yellow bone is what he wants. And I'm going to give you the title of what you want to be referred to as, as a woman. But Paris, you're not yellow bone. Your sister is much lighter than you. Very attractive. Your, your, I can't, uh, one of your younger sister, your middle sister. Very attractive um, when I saw her. And I can only imagine what you have spoken out on your platform about how you felt in the shadows, in your sister's shadows, and you know how attractive she was and all the attention. I can only imagine it. So to me, let's call a spade a spade. I think that you're finally thinking you're fitting in with the yellow bone. You're in the in crowd. Like, let's be real. This is Black History Month. Let's be real. You're fitting in with the yellow bone. So you want the person who's more similar to you to be ostracized because you felt ostracized your whole life. You were told you couldn't be loved your whole life. You were meant to feel like you were not enough. So you, when you went and you put that on my boyfriend, to say that I'm not enough for him. I'm not pretty enough for him. I'm not I'm not light enough for him. So I can't possibly be what he wants. A man doesn't want that. I'm just I'm just trying like y'all. I just want to put it all out on the table. What I've seen. I'm not calling home girl ugly. But what I'm saying is I'm not ugly. By I'm far from it. Far from it. But you guys took the lightness of it. Let's be, let's be, let's be real. And let me tell you, let me, let me go a step further. Because you also told his mom that I only wanted children with him so I can have lighter children. Those are things also the people who support you said. I only wanted children with him because of the lightness, like I can have lighter kids. So much to say that when my daughters were born to twins, that I had favor over Journey because she was lighter with curlier hair. So y'all were going back and forth for a long time about who I really show favoritism towards. A lot of y'all, oh, she likes Journey more because Journey's lighter. And then Sweet Jory comes along, my whole mini me, to the face, to the lips, to the nose, to the hair texture. And that's my mother freaking love. Yeah. I love the F out of this girl. That is my best friend. That is who I literally roll over and wake up to and go to sleep to because she's so attached. She's so attached to me. She can't even sleep without me. Y'all see it in real life. I love this girl so much. And she's the darker 
complected out of my three children. Unconditional love for someone is not based off the merit of their complexion. You all wanted to constitute his love for somebody based off their complexion. Like I said, if, if Jeremy or any man based how they treated me, based off how I look or how I am as a quality girl, I wouldn't be getting cheated on because I'm already enough. But some men, it takes them a little bit longer to realize what they got. Sometimes it takes them to lose what they got and get in situations with things that were temporary. And I'm not just talking about her. I'm not calling her temporary girl. I'm talking about in general with people who cheat. It doesn't, uh-uh, baby. I don't want you to get your eyes hurt. Uh-uh, girl. Uh-uh. Get it. Give it to me. You can't be fine that anyway. Nope. You want me? Oh, is your show off? That's why you came back out here? Uh, uh. Uh, uh. I do look like Sandra. And she's just as beautiful, please. My mom the most confident woman ever. I ain't never heard my mama be ashamed of herself. Y'all be thinking that's an insult. Let me turn the show back on, But yes, y'all, that's that's what the truth of the matter is. Paris, you had no problem with people body shaming me, skinny shaming me because I'm petite. I'm 4'11". You all called me malnourished. You guys said I am. You guys equated my beauty based off my size and off of my natural assets, not my bought assets. And then you found you found problem when D came in and talked about your bought assets for you to feel as womanly as you possibly could. The thing that a lot of women have to look in the mirror, if you're going to if you want to identify yourself as a woman and really embody the truth of a woman, then you need to understand. How sensitive our image is and what we go through as women. For women who have given birth, who have been pregnant, who have dealt with postpartum, who have dealt with weight loss, weight gain, these are hard, hard battles to deal with as a woman. But instead, you decided to use your platform to speak out against me. And that's shameful. So that's why I just can never respect you as what you really want to be. You cannot bully a mother and her children and think you, you can just, like you can relate more than the, a woman herself. Y'all, yeah, my computer's gonna die soon. It's really, really, really sad. Because like I said, I could literally make 20 million more lives. Stop calling my phone. Whoever calling my phone from no call ID. Stop calling my phone. I'm about to put you on airplane mode. I could really make 20 more lives to go into... Everything that I've endured being bullied and harassed by this one individual and their whole platform of hate. But I can't fixate myself and consume myself and keep enduring what I've had to endure for such a long time. 
Because like I said, I only gave you guys surface level of what I had to endure. You all can never imagine or really fathom what I really felt enduring this over and over again. I couldn't even enjoy my house for 24 hours before you got on the internet and gave people step-by-step -step instructions and tried to talk about my house being in a hood. And it's far from the hood. You're not, you don't even live in Atlanta. Then you tried to say, Jeremy picked the house because he wanted to trap it. And because this is where we're from. Well, if you knew anything about Atlanta, honey, then you would know the outskirts has the basements in the backyard. The city where you keep saying she's been living in the city, high rises, and she wanted to do that and she couldn't. Yeah, because the city houses don't have backyard or basement. They're all close together. That's not really for family raising kids areas. It's more so for like you retire and it's just you and your significant other. Or an investment property for, for Airbnb or something like that. Where the places we've been living, there's really not no houses around here. It's only townhomes and stuff. And it's like, come on now, you're not even from here. But you wanted everybody to speak. You wanted people to speak so lowly about my trash a house, as you called it. That it was nothing. And, you know, like I said, if that's just your opinion, it wasn't good enough. Okay. I, I can I can just, it, it, I didn't buy a house for nobody to think it was good enough for you guys. I bought a house for my daughters to have a home. Like we had a goal for our daughters to have a home, not for whoever watched our house on the internet for them to feel like this was good enough for them. I worked really hard after I lost a lot of my brands. And I had to legally get intervention for people to send letters, which now that this investigation has almost ended they will be sending letters thank god to show the resolution of the harassment because like i said your brand deal video was one of the number one targets of harassment they saw what you all said they saw the script they saw the they saw the discord they saw people cheering and clapping in your discord that you have access to to shut it down to say hey don't talk about it but you say oh i wasn't the one who did it though i wasn't the one who directly and i told you at that time i said you need to save yourself these people are doing stuff off of the things that you're putting out there. You went way further past no. disliking me and my cheating boyfriend to making it a personal vendetta against me. And then you made excuse after excuse after excuse every time I said, please just leave me alone. Just please leave me alone. Please, like how much, how many times has somebody got to ask you to please leave them alone? What you got, baby? Oh, I thought you, you know, I got to, you know. Like you made it a person, like you, like you, you are your whole, the way YouTube sees this is your whole channel is successfully ran off of the hate that you have for me. They see it. They saw other people in the comments as well saying, Hey, look, you, you taking it too far now. And like I said, more importantly, no one reached out to get my side of the story. If you, if you were going to tell, if you was going to bring anybody else included, no one reached out to say, Look, this is this is all parts of the story, and now this is my opinion based off that. That's it's not cool. It's not cool. Day after day, wake up every single day and come on the platform, call let people call in to drag me, drag my kids, drag like everybody, everybody who's affiliated with me. You're gonna drag, 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 drag. Y'all all in the comments, call Britney. Well, I don't know if Britney's gonna give you guys what you all want. I highly doubt it. Oh, call his family. I don't think they're going to give y'all what y'all want either. But who will give y'all what y'all want is being re responsible and reasonable to look at the facts of the situation. And that's just all I ask. The bullying and harassment. Uh-uh. Thank you. No. Here. Jory is so spoiled. Now you got my light back out. Oh, how many times you gonna get my light back out? Now they said melatonin keeps the kids sleep. Do y'all give y'all kids melatonin or whatever it's called? It will be my call. No, this is my regular throw. My heated blanket heated up, right, ready for me and Jory. Um, Tanae, 
DaCosta says, Keisha, if there's anything we can do to help and support, let me know. I just say, when you guys, if you guys did not watch the entire situation, how it was supposed to be discussed, just give when Martin. I don't know when he's releasing it. Like I said, he, I didn't. He's. We're not in cahoots. This is not a cahoots type of thing. Uh, I didn't even know the video came out. All I know is people was in my DM saying certain things, and I was like, "Wait, what?" Martin came out the video. Damn, after a whole year, just playing. But and then I asked him. I said, "Did you come out with a video?" He was like, "No, I just told everybody." And then that's when I found out the comments were going crazy. But if anything, I just would say just to watch the situation and see how the bullying and the trolling and the harassment because like i said that was that's my biggest thing jeremy cheating and whatever he had going on with ashley i don't care i don't care this is not about who he liked the most this is this is, not, this is my real life here i don't care if it was one time of 99.9 times this is still my real life and we as women sh should not normalize that type of behavior we should not normalize that <laughs> So it means we all have to do our own due diligence, myself included. And I've been learning and growing and figuring it out for myself. I owe that to myself. I didn't just settle for something just because I felt like that's the easy way out. I'm learning through this process. I've hurt, I've hurt enough through this process. I'm growing through this process and I'm learning through this process. Trust me, I've held Jeremy accountable the, the, the biggest way that could have possibly been hit, done. If you, write, if you read the karma book, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That was the hardest thing I ever had to deal with in my life. So if you think I didn't hold him accountable, you are highly mistaken. I could be literally, I could have just easily accepted the ring and just flaunted it. Hey, I got, like, no, it was bigger than that. It was about the respect that I'm going to get and continue to have on the from the person that said they unconditionally love me and want to spend the rest of their life with me. But those things that we deal with, we have to deal with with one another. We have, I have to make decisions for myself. People can give me their opinion about things or, you know, whatever it may be. But I ultimately, you got to let people live for them. But Martin, <coughs> Jory, no man. But Martin, ultimately, he has dealt with the cyber star. So I think he can resonate and empathize with me in that regard, if anything. If anything. And that's all I'm, I, I, I asked him to do is just to, to just lay out the facts for what they are. So when his videos do come out, if you guys can watch them, I will, I will be watching too. After all this hard work, I want to see how it got put together. But, and it's going to be emotional to have to go through it but this is a this is life. This is life. There's no cutoff time when you just get over something. This may be an old situation, but there's still children who are being greatly affected and impacted. There's still a mother who has to always go out with somebody with my children because of all the threats that have been made. There's different protocols and safety precautions and different things we have to always do because Paris has literally made put my life in danger over and over again, have put my mental health in danger over and over again, have tried to sabotage my whole career over and over again. Those are the things that I need you all to see when this comes out because it was unfair for this to happen to any woman, to any person. And it doesn't matter if Martin's a man. He has common sense. He's still human. And I've told y'all from the jump, we're human first. Uh -huh. Who cares if it's, a, like I said, no one cared how I was being drugged. Not one time did y'all say how, you know, this is wrong or blah 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 or any of that so let's hold that same respect to martin i know for i i i can't ever put my eggs in all you know my my whole basket because i don't personally know martin martin can get up there and do something completely different that i've never seen him do on his own platform but based on what i have seen about him i know he's not going to get on there and just be dragging anybody and he dang sure ain't about to get on there and just be you know, like I said, he's going to be saying some things that I'm not going to probably want to hear. But it'll be his opinion and I will be okay. I will be okay. I will get over it. It will be his opinion and I will be okay. But I just know he's not going to add anything in there that he knows is not factual and start trying to spin a narrative completely wrong because everybody's on him about homegirl or anything like that. Because this is a bigger than that. We need to get to 
the biggest thing right now. And that's all of us coming together. Joy, get down and understanding that we have to stick together as a community. When one is hurting, we all hurting. This could have been any of y'all's friends, any of y'all's sister, any of y'all's kids being drugged for days and fulfilled. And people saying, well, if you can't take it, take your kids off any of you can't take, this is my job. Like, this is my job. You can't just wake, work, wake up and quit your job, can you? You still got bills, right? I was in the process of buying a whole house. So we knew I had, we had, there was no off. There was no time I could take off. So I had to like literally try to close my eyes to everything that was going on. Y'all do go crazy. Close my eyes to everything negative that was going on because I still had to get my daughters their home. I had to do that for them. And I did it and I'm so, that's why I am so proud of myself because despite the, the, the wages of wars that were waged against me, careful, despite all of that, I still made it through and we were able to victoriously buy a home and, and secure a home before the end of that year. And I'm just so proud of myself because it was very hard and I won't downplay it for a second. I won't lie and say it didn't get to me. I won't lie and say I wasn't affected by it. I won't lie and say it didn't hurt me because it did. And I just want you guys to just understand my heart, my real character. I don't have no malice towards his son's mother. I have, I have hurt in my heart because of how the situation was handled. I felt like I genuinely gave her grace with the situation and we, I extended an olive branch just for exactly what I told her when I said, and I said, look, I have some, some trolls who've been hating me for years. So the moment they try to find out who the son's mother is, if they find you, they're going to try to stir the pot in a, in the worst way possible. And I just ask if anything, please, you got to just, we have to do this as a unit over here. We can't let outside people get into the mix because they, they will try and they will stop at nothing. They will say anything to you. They will try to paint me to be whatever. And I and then she told me, she said, I've seen some things and I don't feed into that type of stuff. I would never let. So that's why it's like so hurtful for me. But I don't have hate for her. I want her to succeed. I, like I told, told you all this before. I want her to do good. She has a child to, to do good for I just don't want you to succeed for my at, at, at the detriment of me failing. I don't. I just don't want you to succeed, but you gotta make a mockery out of me and, and, and play into people downplaying me and hurting me or hurting my children. That's the, all I ask. I don't really care about nothing else. This is a new year, and like I said, behind the scenes, I have been handling so many things that I just could not even talk about. Like I said, while the investigation was going on, I could not say nothing. A lot of people kept saying, you need to handle this. You need to handle this. I was handling it. And this, like I said, it was been very hard to handle this day in and day out, email after email, video after video. It has been a very long journey, to say the least. And I want to move forward and continue to stand up for myself and continue to work towards the blessings that I want to be able to, 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 to give for my, my children, for my mom for my sister. Like, I love my family. I love my friends. I don't want to take another year out of my life being stressed and depressed about being bullied and harassed on the internet. So all I ask, like I said, everybody's not going to always like everything that I do. And that's okay. But I'm just asking, like, don't give into the hype of things and you may be creating or perpetuating the problem. Because a lot of you guys gave into the hype without facts. You all just listen to he said, she said. And since I wasn't speaking out, it was kind of like easier to just stick with that. So with the story of the, the series that Martin is doing, I just want, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be presenting a lot of stuff because the, based off all the stuff he's asked me to provide him, I know he's getting to the nitty gritty. And he's making sure ain't no loopholes in his story because he didn't ask me the same thing maybe 50 million times. Like, he got to make sure, like, this is what you said before I go and repeat this. All right. Like, so I, and I appreciate that. Like I said, at first I was like, dang, it's taking a long time. But now I actually, now that I sit back and I'm like, I really appreciate him actually taking the time out because he could have he been easily like, I ain't watching all these videos. I'm just going to 
you know, get, get my views on this situation and say, you know, okay, I read a little bit about the book, but he's really taking his time to get everybody's side. He wants everybody's side. He's not just trying to get my side. He wants everybody's side so everybody fairly can be discussed. And that's the only right thing. And I, and I, and I told him, you do what you got to do. And that's okay. But y'all, my baby got to go to bed. This has been a long live, one of my longer lives, but I got to get my baby to bed. She's not going to sleep without me. She's like, she can't take no more. And I got to go put be, be a mom first. So it's, I can't let her be up past midnight. She already been up past 10 and that's too long anyway. But I love y'all. And yeah, like I said, keep, let's not forget many of these YouTubers have failed attempts of content creation. But yep, yep. A lot of these people were trying to be YouTubers and they weren't getting nowhere. And when they saw my name in the algorithm, they were like, boom, there it is. That is exactly right. The guidelines, oh yeah, y'all can support me also by supporting my businesses. Because like I said, I'm just getting paid off of my hard work. I, I had to pause a lot of my brand deals while the investigation was going on because I just know they didn't stop reaching out. They didn't stop trying. They it, it died down for the most part, but it was still a little, you know, little stuff. So I had to, I had to hundred percent go. And this is my children I we're talking about. So that is a great way to support me. My hair company is having a sale right now. I do have sizzle. So if you can't pay for it right now, you can split it up and pay in six weeks. <laughs> they I think it's like they take um, the, like every two weeks, they'll take a percentage of the payment until the six weeks is up. Um, and I also will be, I asked you guys on my Instagram with the, I think I want to do a webinar once a month. Well, at least for now, I want to do a webinar once a month. I don't know when it'll stop, but I've really been liking the webinars, um, getting them together. It just helps me just keep my mind positive and not, it just keeps me busy and invested in my own self so i don't have time to worry about the negativity you know um so and the first webinar did great the um credit and tax webinar just did really really good as well and i asked you guys what's the next webinar a lot of people said the home buying process and then a lot of people said youtube so i think i'm gonna do youtube academy um and i'm gonna get the breakdown for that together and it'll be pro i'll probably post it tomorrow because a lot of people, so I'm going to go into details about management on YouTube, getting monetized on YouTube, cameras, lighting, um, how to even get in the algorithm of YouTube, how to seed on YouTube. Um, even if you don't have a management, how to work with brands, how to hit up the brands, which brands are good, um, social media aspect of being a content creator. I'm I'm going I'm to I'm tackle all of that because y'all been asking me for the longest time for YouTube. And I'm like, Really? So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna do YouTube Academy first, and then I'll do the home buying process um, after that one. But I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching this long live. <laughs> no, it's been long, but thank y'all for sticking through. And I will see y'all um, on Monday in the vlog. So the renovation process, he will be taking down the wall on Monday, y'all, in that kitchen. So we are gonna see what it's gonna look like. I'm so excited and. Like I said, I have no, no choice but to stay busy and it's just, you know, just pray that God continues to protect me and especially my children from the enemies and just the the the, yeah. the, the evil people who have like literally done everything and stopped at nothing. Ah, 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 ah. This girl is something else, I tell you. But I love y'all. I'll see y'all Monday.